Hi, Mark here from the Tangibound Podcast Network and host of the flagship show, the Tangibound Podcast. Did you know that we over at Tangibound are always looking for amazing podcasts to promote? And did you also know that we are also proud nerds and geeks of everything from movies, music, gaming, TV shows, and comic books to wrestling, MMA, soccer, and football? Whatever you can nerd or geek out about, we've got it. And if you're interested, we can help you find it. And if you're a show looking for a place to call home, we've got you covered. Side effects may include upset stomach, dizziness, tumors, shakes, and in some rare cases, death from excessive laughter. Though to be fair, it's only sometimes. Other side effects may include diarrhea, gallstones, heart palpitations, and strong desire for cookies on the dark side. Talk to your doctor and visit TangiboundNetwork.com and see if Tangibound Network is right for you. This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net Danger Entertainment Podcast Network. Welcome to the podcast from Temperance Town. The sexiest podcast of world renowned. Tony grows a beard to hide his chin, swabs it with Earl, so it glistens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Download the pod, you won't get enough of these dapper chaps talking deadly fluff. In Hobo Gulch, they run a homeless mission, clanging and banging with the pentagram of kittens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. They enjoy their whiskey and local craft beer. By Odin's on Cubis, we give a cheer. Tony's a raccoon when he's booziest. Don't be a savage, be an enthusiast. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. On the frozen tundra, they call it a lock. Tony likes to masturbate in a sock. Brian pisses rocks cause it feels so great I still don't know who the fuck is Tate Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier The boys will let you know when there's a Due to male pattern baldness They don't wear curlers Stay salty people, that's their closing line And don't forget Have a beer, you'll be fine Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier Salty Hey, enthusiasts, what's happening? This is Salty Language, episode 370. The sexiest podcast on a network. Still. 370. Nah, it just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, hot off the episode. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. The, the Fury Road bra- backdrop was great. <laughs> it is furious today. Yeah. Well, we are recording a little earlier than we normally do, so it's extra furious. Yeah, it is extra furious today. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's either Fury Road or Heat Stroke City. I opt for Fury Road. Eh, I don't know. Heat Stroke's kind of fun for the first, like, minute, and then it's not so much fun. That's true. Yeah. And you're like, man, I can, like, have weird feelings in my body yeah. and stuff. It's, is yeah. that my body down there? Am I floating? <laughs> yeah, it's there? like, nope, I'm just dropping. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies. Whoops a daisy. Oh, boy. Yep. Whoops a daisy. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I was trying to think. I was looking at settings and stuff online. Like, there's got to be a way. I mean, I just have to pry the wrong mic. You could just pick up just me. Mm-hmm. Like, because I'm all up on it. I'm making sweet love to it. But nah, it'll pick up the TV if it's too loud. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, Fury Road is extra furious. Right. There was that one day before you called me, I was sitting in here with my headphones on, and I heard it's all this racking. It was my neighbors across the street weed whacking and shit. <laughs> like, oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. 
I know, same thing. I've sitting here with this mic on and, uh, you know, waiting for somebody to jump on the podcast. And I hear, like, somebody way out in the living room, like, talking, you know, or something. And I'm like, I shouldn't be able to hear that. I know. You feel like you're in an FBI van or some mm-hmm, shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's kind of fun, though, you know. Being in an FBI van? No, no, feeling oh. like you're in an FBI van. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, right? Yeah. Don't I'm worry. a fan. Yeah. I don't like creeping on somebody. It's pretty fun. Damn right. Mm-hmm. In a, in a uh, slightly haggard flower van? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it says, you know, not an FBI van on the outside. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, not an FBI uh, van florist. That's what it is. <laughs> For sure not listening to you. <laughs> right. <laughs> totally innocent looking van. Oh, yeah. Is it now? <laughs> yeah, why not, right? Who knew? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. So how the hell are you, Brian? Brian? But I called you Brain. Yeah. Brian? Jesus. It's not, it's not the first time I've been called Brain. I used to get mailed for Brain all the time. Which is That's well, it's it's terrible because it's it's misspelling my name two times essentially because <laughs> it's assuming my name is Brian with an I and then misspelling that. So that's yeah, pretty that's awesome. A very good point. Mm-hmm. It's pretty sweet. It's, I'd still rather be called brained and tiny, like it was uh, always on my <laughs> my mislabeled male shit. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. dude, I don't know for how long it was. My phone would always auto correct your name to tiny. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd keep, you know, like, you know how you, it'll say Tony, like in the predictive text thing. So yeah. I would, I would hit that every time. But then, you know, when I type it, it's tiny. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Steve Jobs. Yeah. Sometimes I didn't bother. I'd just leave it. But, you know, it was. <sighs> That's fair. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm doing, doing, these things uh, have been- doing a lot better than I was last week. The sinus gimmick that I had going on seems to be pretty much over. Um, so, yeah, I've been, you know, using the old neti pot, rinsing the, the the nose out. So, you know, it's either that or just take a garden nice. hose, filter through it. But Dude, that's our next product, neti hose. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm thinking of, um, like, women with questionable morals that... You know, pour, use the neti pot on you. I, I don't assume those were the neti hose you were talking about. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Dude, neti hose are for our local ice cream store, Nettie's. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Yo, here come the neti hose. <laughs> <laughs> they start dancing. Yeah, right. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, I When I went to rinse my nose today, I... Um, had the um, the fun experience of, and, and you get this once in a while when you do those, especially if um, if you have like <clears throat> larger packets of the saline solution, or if you're making your own, which is what I'm doing. Have because you opted for ramen? Maybe that's a great idea. Just put a little little beef stock in, or beef yeah. packet in there. Delicious. That little that weird nefarious ramen egg <laughs> oh, with God. the mystery fluid in it. Oh, can you imagine what the sneezes would be like? Oh my God! Oh man, beefy sneezes all night. <laughs> 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 oh God, that'd be awful. That would be terrible. I mean, I guess maybe it wouldn't, but it would probably be terrible. Yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah. Um, but I got too much salt in the water, and boy, does that burn. <laughs> Feels like a million bucks, huh? Oh, yeah. There's nothing like having that, like, it burns all the way to, like, basically the bottom of your eyes, down to your not, you know, into your your nose. It's pretty cool. I highly recommend it. Well, you know it. you're fresh and clean. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much burned everything out of there. I, you know, I, I read that you can, a lot of people put baking soda in the mixture, like or mix uh, just salt with baking soda and that's right. what they put in the water but i just i was like i can handle the salt you know until today when i put too much in. fair enough eh, whatever apple cider vinegar yeah i hear stuff's like a miracle <sighs> might fluid be. might be yeah. shoot that through my nose <laughs> yeah now we're Sweet. talking eat delicious Maybe oh my god water. we'll bottle the what comes out the other side right 
you know, is. well, I don't know, but they've got like that coffee that, you know, the beans that the cats poop out and oh, then oh, yeah, cocoa low something. Or sure. Like, yeah. Cocoa pie or some shit like that. Right. So we'll, you know, get yeah. asp coffee. <laughs> That's that's how they should have marketed it. Yeah. Just the back end of a cat with the butthole. That should be the logo for the brand. It should be the logo. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Um, man. Yeah, so there you go. That'll be our new line of products is various products filtered through us. <laughs> that's a terrible idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Just know. Just saying. I don't know. If we could get someone to pay for those things, sounds like a brilliant idea. Well, true. So now all we have to do is get, like, Beyonce to name drop us or Gwyneth Paltrow to tell all the white women, you know, the rich white women that whatever it is will rejuvenate their vagina. You yep, know? right. So we just need one of those gimmicks to pan out, and then we're set. Like, all right, here, I got an idea, Brian. Mm-hmm. You're not going to like it, but I got an idea. All right. All right, so we get it like, uh, we get like a hot tub situation. Okay. Are we're we dr- in wait, said hot tub. Are we drinking bubbly? If we want, what the, the, in the hot tub? Anyway, I mean, I'm, you know, whatever you want, bubbly IPA, nice. whatever, whatever floats your boat. You can neti pot right into it. Who cares? <laughs> because while while we are soaking in the hot tub, our glorious legion of followers <laughs> will be filling up grower bottles of the water. Oh man! <sighs> as you know, uh, salty language, vaginal rejuvenation, rejuvenation <laughs> fluid. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you know, Gwyneth can mention it on the Goop, which is the worst name for a website ever. It's pretty awful. And uh, there you go. Yeah, boom. So then, Rich. so then you'll, they'll have our you know our bathtub water leave-ins <laughs> splashed all up in their vidier. I feel like we should go with a different name though. <laughs> Probably bathwater leave-ins just doesn't. Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't leap off the page at you. You know. How about, like, the essence of salty language? Whoa, careful. Dev might... That right now, Dev's listening. Oh, that's true. And he's like, those sons of bitches, and he's calling his lawyer. <laughs> like, he hasn't even listened yet. He, he, his <laughs> hair probably just stood up on end right for a second there. Yeah. He's like, what was that? Mm. <laughs> Did someone cast a spell on me? <laughs> right. Uh, you're, you're right. I forgot. Yeah. Essence is all him. Yeah. Yeah, we can't yeah. go that way. No, we can't go at that. We can't go that way at all. This is disgusting. I don't think we should do this. <laughs> you don't think we should sling bathwater as vaginal <laughs> rejuvenation fluid? I love the idea of us as snake oil salesmen. You know, right? And also, it, Dev's area, <laughs> right? I know, which is a little weird, but uh, you know, I, I just picture you and I, you know, on the back of a pickup truck trying to sell whatever it is we've we've gimmicked yeah. up. <laughs> it's murky, cloudy bath water. We're trying to sling his health tonic. Yep. Uh, it makes me. Uh, it uh, reminds me of the Simpsons where Grandpa and um, Homer are slinging his um, rejuvenation tonic. Which is basically, I think he said, you know, puts the wowzers in your trousers and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I just picture you and I doing that, you know. Yeah, that's that's pretty accurate. <clears throat> Dressed like Colonel Sanders out there, you know. Oh, of course. Mm-hmm. Eating chicken the whole time. Well, yeah, why not? Chicken's delicious. Yeah. Chicken's delicious. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, I think we have a million dollar idea right here. I I actually I'm talking in lawsuits. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> just. The one from Dev alone will be ridiculous. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's going to be like fifteen billion dollars or whatever. Yep. Um, although I, I could counter sue that you know I was co-creator of Essence of Dev, so you know. True. true. So I mean, maybe we can settle this out of court. Maybe. Like we'll, we can just have some pints and call it good. Also that. Yeah. It's a good plan for everybody. I was like, we can give him his own his own line of bathtub leavings. <laughs> And then it could be the essence of Dev. Yeah, I like it. You know what it is? It's like, you know, there's Nike and then there's the Jordan brand. Like, they're made by Nike, but they're they're their own thing as well. Yeah. That's kind of what it is. Like, you know. For sure. We'll just make sure that the essence of Dev gets put out there, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now, now we're talking. Poor, poor people that would buy that. Everyone should buy it. Part of me wants to actually do this just to see if we can get anybody to buy it. <laughs> People, Terrible idea, but I love it. I know, but people buy the dumbest things. Oh, I'm aware. Especially if they're told it can do something for them health-wise or not look old. Right, exactly. You know? 
then, like, if we're selling to the ladies, you'd be like, you know, do you want a bomb ass type pussy? <laughs> Who doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> you, you best get our rejuvenation fluid up in there. <laughs> oh my. And then you sell the guys, you're like, you want a diamond hard dick? <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Splash a little tonic on there. <laughs> Please tell me we're going to have uh, David Lee Roth as our spokes guy. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Because he can say, that, do you want a diamond hard dick? And then everyone yeah. will go, no, no. And then DDP comes in, diamond cuts him. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't see it coming, I'm sure. He didn't see it coming. Oh, uh, man. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, All, right. wow. All that from that being said. neti pot stuff. I mean, that's pretty terrifying. That's what we do, man. Yep. That's what we do. Yep. So, uh, <clears throat> so I went back uh, yesterday um, to the doctor, you know, about uh, to, I, I figured it was going to be like a follow-up where I go in, have a sit down with him and talk about you know, the testosterone shot in the first two weeks of being on it. Right. Nope. I no more got in there. I was the only person in the waiting room. I didn't even, my ass didn't even hit the chair and they called me back. <laughs> really? Yeah. I was going to sit down and the girls was like, don't, don't sit down. <laughs> like, don't you do it. Yeah. And then like the door opens in the, uh, you know, assistant or whatever. She's like, come on back. I'm like, Oh, and you know she I walks shall. in. She walks in with you know a tray with an you know with another ass needle on it. Nice. <laughs> and I was like, okay. I was like, so I assume I'm getting another shot today. <laughs> Is that full of our, my patented formula? <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, it was. Uh, so if you're squeamish about blood, you might want to fast forward for a minute. Um, so she tells me. Like right before, uh, you know, as I'm 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 lowering my my britches, exposing my supple buttocks for her to plunge this thing into. Please tell me she did a uh, Batman. Do you bleed? <laughs> <laughs> Almost, but not with the voice. Uh, oh, she okay. was like, "Are you on any blood thinners or taking aspirin or whatever?" And I was like, "No." And uh, she's like, "Yeah." She like last week a guy that's been coming in here for a long time to get these shots. She's like, I know we're gave him the shot, and as I was pulling the, the needle out, she's like, blood just starts spraying, like from from the little puncture hole. And wow, that's exciting! Apparently, he had started blood thinners earlier in the week and decided wow. not to tell her. <laughs> so it's kind of like you know, in like a water balloon, if you poke a hole up by like where you tie it. Yeah, that's Amazing. what she dude. That's what she was saying. She's like, it was on my scrubs. It was on the floor. It was. I'm like, oh my. Wow, goddamn crime scene. Right? And I told her, I was like, well, I was like, maybe bring a towel, you know, just in case. Like, as you're pulling that needle out, just kind of, you know, hold a towel there. You know, like the old trick with a, a, a baby boy, you know, where you put the diaper in front so they don't piss oh, on yeah, you. yeah. You know? For sure. That gimmick. Yeah. So I'm familiar. Yeah, I know. You're the, actually the person I heard it from for the first yeah. time, so. It's uh, like having a, like the tiniest riot shield. <laughs> amazing oh adorable tiny riot shield <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> now i want to see babies dressed in swat gear <laughs> that would be incredible oh. just roughing up other babies yeah <laughs> oh yeah swat baby swat fight club god damn right um pull up one of those power wheel type vans there's a bunch of babies in the back of it nice in ta- all in tactical gear <laughs> <laughs> yes oh my god yes yeah. This is, I want this. Kevlar lot. onesies and whatnot. Uh, hey, listen, you know, why not? I mean, you've seen they got, you know, backpacks made out of like bulletproof material now or bullet resistant material. I don't remember which way they're promoting it. Isn't everything resistant to bullets? Just not real well. <laughs> yeah. Well, they have different levels of resistance. Yeah. Um, no, they're actually ones like I, I saw in the news the other day. I was watching somebody shoot the backpack and kind of reminded me of uh, Super Troopers where Max standing there with the cup. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I was like, you know, I was like, you know, they really want to impress me. They should put, you know, someone behind that backpack. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like I've can- seen those like Russian videos when they're testing out bulletproof oh, vests right? shit. That's insane. Yikes. Or the I can't remember what the car company was. 
I did see a video of this too, where it was an owner of a car company and he was talking about their automatic braking system mm-hmm. and the car just fucking plows. In. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a little rough. That seems bad for business. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, but I did check uh, online, and I saw that uh, <clears throat> my feelings of, like, nothing from the first week or two weeks of, of the testosterone shot is pretty normal, actually, um, that it kind of slowly ramps up. Uh, so fair enough. <clears throat> yeah. So I got to go back in two weeks, which when I go back this time, I'm going to be like, cause I know you, like I've read online, like you can give the shots to yourself. And I mean, so I could either run a raffle to see who wins, you know, the, the opportunity to give me a shot in my supple buttocks or, Hilarious. or I can just do it in my, you know, shoot myself up in the thigh. So whichever. <clears throat> yeah. Is it required you find a dirty bathroom? No, but why wouldn't you? I mean, <laughs> oh just trying to fit in, guys. It's about ambiance, you know. I mean, right. <laughs> a clean, exactly. sterile bathroom. There's no that doesn't, you know. You need something that feels, you know, grimy. <laughs> yeah, or a locker room, or <laughs> preferably a locker room. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Shooting tea? Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor tea. Oh. <laughs> <Huh? laughs> <laughs> Oh man! <clears throat> so yeah, so that's. Uh, but I'm going to ask him kind of like what the plan is because, I, you know, it's kind of silly for me to have to go half an hour north every two weeks to get a shot when it's potentially something I could give myself. You know, true. Maybe they don't want you to give you all the stuff. So you're not like, I think I need another shot. It's like ten minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to take the edge off of that shot, another shot. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Any more? Awesome when talking alcohol. Terrible idea yeah. when talking testosterone. Oh, it depends on how much you're deadlift. Fair enough. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. Oh, there, there you go. Just put it in your neti pot. <laughs> you're right. What was I thinking? <laughs> My body will just take what it needs and, you know. Right. Get rid of the rest. That would be perfect. We can market that with muscle piss. This is true. Boom. Nice. This is very true. Man, I'm on fire with these products now. I know, right? Look out. Here we come. GNC. I'm about to own that place. <laughs> no, we'll just open up our own GNC. Ooh, good call. Right? Yeah, you're right. Or just sell out of a truck in a parking lot. Exactly. Yeah. We'll have SLS spray paint on inside of it. Right. Salty language supplements. Yep. <laughs> the emphasis on supple. <laughs> <laughs> supplements. <Yeah. laughs> I was also thinking, like, when you mentioned that with the van, you know, that we'd be like the homeboy shopping network, you know, yeah. just <laughs> it's for health potions. Yeah, exactly. Supplements and stuff. Right. Yeah. Supple- Protein powder. It's just whatever I swept off the floor of the gym. Yeah. Uh, yeah close enough. Yeah. You know, what's a little staph infection, you know? Yeah. Fine. Delicious. How's your body going to fight it off if it never sees it, right? Exactly. Right? Yeah. That's, yeah. Oh, man. <clears throat> Gnarly stuff, dude. Gnarly stuff. Gnarly, bro. Gnarly. So. No, no. That was last time. <laughs> oh. You got to wait a little while to use that one again. Whoops, the daisy. Yeah. Oh, so how about you? How was your week? I may have something else, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. Uh, well, my week was good. Mm-hmm. Today was a hot pile of garbage, but my week was good. Awesome, awesome. I mean, I got told by my you know new boss, like, hey man, like once a week you're gonna be probably in the dish pit, and every time else you're gonna be prepping. Yeah, just been food prep all week. Nice, loving life. Working you know, on the knife the skills, right? Was, uh, huh? Yeah, so working on them knife skills, son. I, yeah. I, fucked up a lot of tomatoes and like got a huge blister on my finger yeah perfect brutal. you know you know what you do with that slice it right off right i was thinking about it mm-hmm. well the problem is honestly the knives aren't that great oh that doesn't help sharp knife really i mean yeah helps a lot sure does if you can't cut shoe leather and then cut a 
red ripe tomato, I'm not impressed with it. Exactly. Yep. And I tried. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you did. <laughs> the, only, the only real major problem I had of the, this week at work mm-hmm. was they're like, hey, make the soup. Okay. So I was doing like a, you know, cream, uh, potato, bacon type situation. I made it a million times here before. Mm-hmm. But I've never made it in such a large quantity. Oh, right. That when I added the cheese, I added too much at one time, and the shit just seized. Oh, delicious. That was a problem. No, what you do with that is you get, like, one of those um, ice cream scoops, you know, like they use in the cafeterias for mashed potatoes. And you you get a nice round of that and put it down in the broth. Nice. Yeah, and then you just get a little bite, a little bite of that in a little soup. Yeah, or or you can use crackers on it like it's a cheese ball. Perfect. Perfect. It's cheese that ball was, soup. That, that yeah. would have been a good move. Yeah, cheese ball potato soup. <laughs> My our move was Throw our it. move was uh, they have an immersion blender that basically looks like a, a trolling motor. Mm-hmm. And just, blah, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that incorporated the cheese nicely. Oh well, I guess that'd work too. T- it t- tasted terrific. Looked horrible. <laughs> like I like the, like the guy I was working with. He's like, we got to do something about this. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and he's like, why don't we just send up something like like a chopped parsley that waitresses can sprinkle on top. I was like, ah, it's fine, whatever. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to go home at this point. <laughs> you know, I was done. Yeah. yeah, I got some parsley. But yeah, so I, so but yeah. Once again, it's been it's been nice being in the kitchen angle. That's what I'm doing tomorrow morning too. Yeah. And my, like my one of my coworkers, I dropped her off my ice cream machine that we have here because she's doing a special dinner. Mm. And let me tell you what, she's making uh, spent grain ice cream, hmm. and it tastes like cereal milk. Oh my. It's ridiculous. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Yes. Because, she, you know, she's like, she mixed the base together, and she's like, hey, could you try this? And I'm like, yeah, that's amazing. Tastes like cereal milk. She's like, perfect. That's what I'm going for. Nice. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> I like that plan. So, so, so all that stuff was good. This today, well, uh, let me let me fast forward a few weeks back. Okay. Let me put it all in perspective. I don't think you can fast forward you- back. You want to bet? You go far enough forward. <laughs> oh, I get you. Okay, you just loop yeah. around. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, um, like a couple weeks ago, um, Logan, my son, mm-hmm. he had uh, like like something in his mouth, like a sore or something. Yeah. You know, and it got it kind of swelled up a little bit, and then it like popped in his mouth, which is super gross. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. You know what's great is I gave uh, a little spurler for, like, my story about blood. You're just talking about something just exploding in his mouth like that. and Yeah, I don't do spurlers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no warning here. <laughs> but, um, so, but then, it, like, his face kind of, you, you know, everything is fine. Mm-hmm. So... You go, you come to early or later this week. Earlier this week. Jesus, I'm all fucked up. And he's like, his his face started swelling up again. Hmm. It was like the same stuff. Yeah. So we're like, all right, well, you know, given the time of day, let's take it to urgent care. Mm. See if they can't do something. Right. Like lop that cheek right off. Something. Yeah. So they, you know, they examine him. They're like, well, we clearly have an infection. Mm. We'll, you know, give you some antibiotics. If it gets worse. You know, come back or go to the hospital or go see your doctor or whatever. Right. Or have your dad take you out back behind the shed and put you down. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know, a couple days on Airbox, his face is starting to go down. Mm-hmm. He's feeling better. Uh, yesterday, he comes down from downstairs. I'm, like, getting dinner. I'll probably start working on dinner. I look at him, and his cheek is huge. And oh. he's like, I'm in so much pain right now. I'm going to start getting ready for work. <laughs> I like the work ethic. But <laughs> yeah, which, which is hilarious because trying to get him to, like, do any of his chores. Yeah. It might as well, like, might as well try to move this tree I'm looking at. <laughs> but, you know, I got to get to work. My whole face is on fire. And I'm like, first off, you're not going to work. Second off, get your shoes on. We're going back to her. Yeah, dinner. right, right. Right. So, yeah, because I, I certainly would not want to, you know, go to the home of the Whopper or wherever it is he works and uh, 
you know, see some giant, like, like, oh, God, what's going on with that cheek? And why is he touching my food? <laughs> you basically, right? <laughs> so we, we get the urgent care. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I walk up with the same woman working the window. And she's like, hey, how can I help you? I'm like, I'm, we're back for this kid's face. <laughs> And she's like, oh, uh, who'd you have? And I had all this paperwork from the day before, and I told her, and the doctor, you know, it wasn't a doctor, it was a nurse practitioner. Mm. But she comes out, and she's like, well, I called somebody, and basically what we can do is you can, uh, we can give you an antibiotic shot, or we recommend you get you see your dentist. Okay. You know, and Logan's, he's already like, he doesn't, you know, he's not, doesn't do well on antibiotics, but I, I asked him, like, what do you want to do? He's mm. like, I'd rather not. Like, yeah. All right. So I called the dentist. They're like, yeah, we can get you in at 7 o'clock tonight. Mm-hmm. Cool. Come back home, make dinner, eat dinner. He barely eats. He had some mashed potatoes. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't imagine. Yeah, like I made mashed potatoes just because I was like soft food. You right, know? yeah. Yeah. So we then, you know, Jeannie and I. Oh, my God. Right Sorry. Uh, hold on. I just had something pop into my head. I was going to say you should have made him some cheese ball soup. And then it hit me that I should have said seize ball soup. Seas ball soup. Yeah. God damn anyway, right. sorry. All right, moving on. That's what I should have told him right on the goddamn chalkboard upstairs. <laughs> but uh, so we we get to his dentist, and they you know examine him. The doc comes out and she's like, "Hey, we're gonna try to land. We're gonna try to drain some of it. Sweet. We'll, like lance it and drain it. Yeah. Because it's obviously inflamed and you know he's in pain and all that. Please tell me so she they, meant with like a lance, like a jouster would use. That probably would have been better. Oh my! Because they went in with like a scalpel and tried to and like cut his mouth a little bit. Yeah, and they got they drained it a little bit. Yeah, but they couldn't get to it. Oh boy! So now he's so now he has stitches in his mouth. <laughs> right, and for Poor for kid. them to go, um, we called you know the doctor over at the dental unit at UTMC, which is our local medical college's hospital. Yeah. Uh, they're like, uh, they have an on-call dental, but they're, they're, you know, gone for the night cause it's eight o'clock at night now. Right. She's like, call them tomorrow morning and, you know, tell them you're there for emergency pain procedure and they'll get you in. Tell them, I, like, you talk to me as I, I, you know, I talked to this doctor. I'm like, okay. So wake up, get the coffee going. I'm, you know, I'm just pulling some nice hot English muffins out of toast driving. that's become genie nice, like morning tradition since we don't have to get off to work stupid early anymore mm. and get a phone call. I'm like, Oh, that's my mom. That's weird. They're at the cottage because Labor Day weekend. Mm. So like, Hey Tony, uh, do you work this morning? I went, no, I don't. She's like, Oh, is there any way you could run to our house? I'm like, uh, wh- why? Uh, the alarm is going off. The police are there. They're, they just need to make sure everything's fine. <laughs> right. I'm like, Oh Jesus. I'm like, well, here's the deal. Yeah. <laughs> I could go. <laughs> But, you know, Logan's got a, he's got like an appointment with mm-hmm. it, you know. So I was like, all right. So I'm driving there. She calls me again. She's like, actually, the police probably won't be there. And I'm as I'm like 10 minutes out of the house, going to her house, it hits me. I don't have her fucking house key on me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so I'm like, so I'm like, ma, um, are they going to lock the doors or do you have any idea? Because I don't have your key, <laughs> you know. Right. And she's like, I don't know. And I'm like, well, here's the deal. I'm going to find out real soon when Logan's going to go in. If it's first thing in the morning, I'll do your house later. If it's not, I'll go take care. I'll go back home, get the key, take care of your house. Right. You know, come back here. It was still before 8 o'clock. So 8 o'clock hits, I call them. I'm like, hey, nothing. Ah, the office is open at 830. (sighs) Just waiting around for a half hour, pacing, you know, drinking coffee, being annoyed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Call back. And I'm on hold for probably 15 minutes, oh, waiting, geez. just waiting, waiting, waiting. Finally get on the line, and they're like, oh, yeah, I'm like, emergency pain procedure. They talk to this doctor, blah, blah. Okay, um, we can get you in at 2 o'clock. <laughs> I'm like, uh, what? Like, uh, like whatever. You're like, hold you know, on, I'm forwarding you uh, something from dictionary.com, and it's the definition yeah. of emergency. Exactly. <laughs> it's just like, Jesus. I'm like, well. What, whatever you can give me in, that's fine. Yeah. Just whatever. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, I'm like, all right, Jeannie, you have a good day at work. Logan, I'll be back. <laughs> right. <laughs> because I got to go take care of Ma's house now. So I fly up there. You know, everything's fine. Apparently, she just left the door unlocked when cable guys were in there working and the wind blew it open, but oh, they're gone. Okay. You know? Yeah. Uh, but nightmare situation. 
but you know, as I'm leaving her house, I get a call from some number I don't recognize, but it's like, you know, I'm answering all the numbers right now. And it's like, oh, hey, this is Dr. So-and-so or whatever, not doctor, nurse so-and-so at UTMC. Um, we never got your, your son's birth date when we call, you called. I'm like, oh. I tell him, they're like, oh, well, he's 17? Yeah. Oh, we can actually get him in at uh, uh, 1045 because we thought he was a, it was a pediatric patient. It's like, ah. And this is, you know, now I'm flying back home making phone calls. <laughs> Logan, get ready. Tell your sister, get ready. Like, right. Right. <laughs> Because I'm dropping her off at your grandma's house because they're doing lunch today. and Fucking nightmare morning. We get there. They get him in. First doctor comes in. Poke, prod, poke, prod. Look at his cheek. He's I can see his feet curling and he's gripping. He's oh, I bet. I bet, yeah. Yeah. And she's like, hmm. And then another doctor comes in. Same thing. Poke, prod, poke, prod. Asking him like the same questions. Yeah. They, they send him in for x-rays. Right. Third doctor comes in now. Poke prod, poke prod. Same questions. He's talking to me about the UP because his family's just up there, and you know. Did they at least like, do I, the doctor, doctor, doctor gimmick? I wish they would have done that. Uh, that's sad. If you got three doctors, I feel like they there should be a law like they have to do that. You know. Yeah, exactly right. Anyway, yeah. <clears throat> so they determine for all their poking, prodding, and X-rays and tests and stuff that it's not tooth related. Okay. His infection is somewhere else. Okay. So they're like, well, what we're going to do is we have a referral here to these oral surgeons. Right. They have better equipment to check him. Mm-hmm. Um, you just, they're the people we work with. They're great. Just call them, get an appointment. Uh, here's a prescription for a stronger antibiotic. You know, I'm really surprised they didn't. I mean, I know sometimes they, like, you know, you have to go to your general pr- uh, practitioner to then go to a specialist. It's like, you think in his situation they would have just been like, we're sending you to an oral surgeon. Because yeah, they'll exactly. be able to figure it out either way. You know? Exactly, right. But it's probably more of an insurance thing. Like, they have to send you to this point, then they can send you to the other, some bullshit. And, and I mean, I'm not, I, I'm not going to shit on them because the, everyone there was great, and they're tr- they were mm-hmm. generally were trying to do their best to fix the problem. Right, right. But it's like they give, you know, give me the stuff for his for his referral, another prescription. We get to Myers because my game plan now was, all right, I'm going to go to Myers. I'm going to drop you off at your grandparents' house because he's hanging out with his cousin all weekend. And I'm not going, I'm not going to leave him home for something he can't control. Yeah. When he wants to go hang out with his cousin. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm like. If your oral surgery thing's today, I'm going to come back and pick you up, and we're going to go. Yeah. So as we're waiting for prescription, I called the office. Um, our office hours, this is like 1230. Our office hours are 8 to 12 on Fridays. Uh, we will not open until 8 a.m. Tuesday due to the holiday. Oh, Jesus. I'm like, what? And there's three different offices, one in Monroe, one in Oregon, one in Toledo. Mm. Call all three. All of them have the same hours. Right. So I'm like, motherfucker. We wait an hour at Myers for his, his prescription. Wow. Yeah, like they're like, oh, we'll be with you in a few minutes. And then it oh, became 20 shit. questions. They didn't even have the full prescription. We got to go back. Wow. Yikes. Get a, get a phone call. I'm like, who is this now? Answer, it's the doctor from UTMC. Hey, our on-staff orth- or, uh, orthodontist um, talked to the orthopedic or the oral surgeon and they would like to run some more tests. Can you come back? I'm like, uh, okay. So <laughs> right. we go back to UTMC. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and by now, Logan's like, like he blew up on me at Myers. And I'm like, dude, d- I understand your frustration, your anger. Uh-huh. I'm on your team. Yeah. Don't take it out on me. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like, keep yeah. sassing me. I'll kick your ass out and you can deal with it yourself. <laughs> you have two swollen cheeks. You hear what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> 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 Uh, but so we, we go back. They do. They run another test because they, the way they determined if his teeth were like a like vital and living was they tap them, mm-hmm. and if there's like no pain, whatever. Yeah. Apparently that's not a full test. So now this time they have to take this like spray, spray these little cotton balls, ice cold, and touch it to your teeth. Okay. And if you could feel the cold, it means your tooth is alive. Right. So you know, so they had to make sure all his teeth were still alive to really rule out that it wasn't a tooth issue. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. So they do that. You know, this is the this is what the fifth guy that's been poked and prodding him in his mouth now. Yeah. Jeez. And and uh, 
And then a dude's like, okay, well, we, we gave you that referral. And it's like, yeah, the problem with that is I called them. They don't open till Tuesday. And guy's like, oh, really? He's like, hold on. So we sit there for probably 15, 20 minutes just playing Hearthstone against each other because we're in the same room with our sure. phones. Right. <laughs> and uh, dude comes back in. He's like, I've called everybody in the area. Nobody's open right now. Nobody's open till Tuesday. Oh, my God. There, Can you believe that? How in the hell is there not an emer- some emergency something, you know? know? Right? Holy shit. Yeah. So they're like, here's the x-rays. You know, take these. When you guys go Tuesday, make sure you give everything. Tell them everything we told you guys. Give them all this paperwork. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, keep them on aspirin. Keep them on the antibiotics and keep them hydrated and eating. Mm-hmm. And if he has trouble swallowing or breathing or it gets worse, go to the emergency room. Right. It's just like. Oh, uh, what what shit timing for all this. Right. Jeez, man. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I've been, you know, I pretty much got home. I left the house at about, well, originally before 8, got home about 5. <laughs> Just been running around all day. Wow. Which is worth it because it's my kids. But Yeah, sure. Still, right? Like I just, I just was texting him like, how's the face? He's feeling better. Swelling's still not down, though, but mm-hmm. I'm sure he's feeling better without having people jabbing him in the face. Yeah. With you. I, I would think that would definitely, you know, feel better. Yeah. yeah. Jeez, uh, man. Straight up nightmare, though, man. Ugh. Yeah, it sounds like it would be. Man. The only bonus was, and I, I put it on my Instagram because I couldn't help it, was they had a, uh, from the BGSU art student, some kid put this together. Mm-hmm. It was the alphabet, and every letter was a different animal. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So Logan's, because I, I w- the picture was next to me. So I didn't even, wasn't even looking at it, but he was staring at it. And he's like, what is X? I look at it. Like, what is this, algebra? No. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I don't know. It's got to be a bird that starts with X. It's got to be. Mm-hmm. Well, because you was unicorn. Yeah. He's like, are you telling me they couldn't figure out an animal? <laughs> well, I mean, and he, you know. and he was just like urchin. I'm like, yeah, that's a good one. You yeah. know? So I was like, well, let's, let's Google birds that start with X. Mm-hmm. And I, I Googled it. And none of the birds matched up. And he's like, you know, X might be for extinct, which is wrong on two levels. Cause extinct starts with an E. Unless it, unless it pertains to the X-Men. Yes. Yeah, right? Like if it was an extinction event. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If it's a Marvel product, it's a different Yeah, then story. it's okay. But you're right. Otherwise, nope. But sure enough, I Googled the dodo bird, and that's what X was. It really, yeah, I was going to say, if it's not, I don't know what it is, because it sure as hell looks like a dodo bird. It was, yeah. yeah no way it wasn't. Yeah. X, extinct. That's, Thanks, BGSU. Yeah. That's higher education right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jesus. That's like calling me brain. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) That's wrong on two levels. That needs to be our offshoot podcast, Tiny and Brain. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm just picturing the pinky and the brain thing. It just fits because pinky, tiny. I know. It's pretty funny, actually. Oh, man. So, yeah, that that was my Friday today, man. I'm just, I mean, today's one of those days I'm glad I'm not working Mm. at my old job because, you know. Yeah. Fridays were always a nightmare, yeah. and, uh, yeah, wow. Jeez. I mean, it was still a nightmare, but, I mean, whatever. Yeah, but like you said, at least you were <clears throat> you were able to, you know, go handle things. Or yeah, exactly, be uh, there. Attempt and, to handle I mean, things, I guess. With, with, you know, with Jeannie's new job, her, you know, it's not easy for her to do stuff like that. She's very mobile in her job, for instance, but, yeah. like... She was sitting with me in the waiting room. She's like, I, I have, I have to turn my work phone on in like 10 minutes and I'm getting zero reception. I have to leave. Yeah. Right. It's like that sucks, but what are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I understand. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah. you know, and it's not as bad cause you know, like you're there. It's not like, you know, he's sitting there on his own or something, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Not like the poor girl who the, the people at the desk are like, yeah, your parents need to be here to do it this procedure and she's like oh they just dropped me off let me call them (laughs) they're going to the bar for a few while she's having you know whatever done (laughs) yeah some sort of oral surgery or something yeah like you want to go get some lunch margaritas (laughs) you know i do (laughs) lunch yeah (laughs) oh man 
But yeah, so wow. there you go, Brian. That was my run around like crazy day dealing with a swollen cheeked boy. Yeah, man, I feel I feel really bad for him that he's got to deal with this till Tuesday. I know it's horrible. <sighs> Criminy. It's so mind blowing that there isn't somebody around that does emergency stuff, like emergency oral surgery or something. You would think the hospital would have somebody. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like, there's got to be someone on staff that can come there up and just has to be, do right? something. What if, what if it was legitimately like an, you know, like a life or death kind of thing or a really bad situation? Would they just, I, sorry? I think they just send them to the hospital and, you know, it wouldn't be an oral thing. It'd just be like, get, this kid needs help thing. Like, yeah. like, like they're saying, if it gets worse, go to the emergency Yeah, room. fair enough. Okay. You know? Wow. It's just, you know, we're right now we're just kind of like, you know, riding the storm out basically. Yeah. Riding the storm out. <laughs> Yeah. Fucking rockin'. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that right there, that's the kind of stuff that'll help him through to Tuesday. <laughs> oh, you betcha. <laughs> oh, man. Absolutely. That sounds awful. And from, like, his perspective, it sounds awful. Yes. Yeah. Jeez. Super duper awful. Yeah. Wow. All right. <sighs> Anything else from your? Uh, not really. I mean, I got some stuff I, I want to talk about that you know, news stories and shit like that. But yeah, I do too. I don't. Uh, I don't. I can't think of anything else. Like through the week, I'm, it was pretty, pretty boring week. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, I mean, it was just. It was yeah. a week. Well, it's like I said on the crazy life uh, last time we recorded. Um, you know, with with me having that sinus uh, infection, I really didn't feel like going and doing much. You know, because my head hurts so bad. Right. So it's like, yeah, that kind of shut me down for the better part of a week. Yeah, I, I can believe that. Because it's a jerk. <laughs> jerk face, make jerk jerk. <laughs> he rears his ugly head again. <laughs> yep, exactly. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, indeed. I am going to... Uh... See uh, Breaking Benjamin and Five Finger Death Punch tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. So, I kind of, like, tickets we bought fucking forever ago. <laughs> right. And it's finally the weekend. Mm. So that, that'll be good. Like, you had to blow dust off the tickets? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Right? Yeah. Like I bought these when I was 12. <laughs> Which, you know, it's up at uh, Pine Knob, bro. Mm. Cool. And I was looking at the rules, because I was like, I remember you could bring stuff. Yeah. You could bring a cooler mm. without wheels. Right. Like very, like those little short-legged beach chairs. Uh, the cooler can only have ice and food in it. Yeah. No beverages of any kind. And you can bring, like, blankets. It's really funny you can have food in it because they sell food there, don't they? I think so. I was going to say, I feel like they at least used to sell food there. I haven't been there in a long time. but Yeah. I, mean, I haven't been to the Knob in a long time either. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not even a Knob anymore. No. It's the DTE Music Theater. Mm-hmm. But, um, and, they, and I was like, well, what about tailgating? Because, you know, I don't want to pay, like, $25 for a beer. Really? Why not? <laughs> no, right? Yeah. So tailgating's allowed, but no booze. <laughs> which that's, which I, with that, I'm like, hey, you got to catch me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's accurate. <laughs> there, it's not like there aren't a million and one ways to hide booze. So. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, obviously I won't have beer cans or beer bottles, but, mm-hmm. you know. Maybe a little nip of something's hidden away somewhere. Right. You know? Yep. Just just put, you know, put beers in, like, Mountain Dew cans and then get one of those uh, helmets with the can, to, you know, that holds the cans on the side. They'll totally just think you're you're just a Mountain Dew loving person there for a good time. That's what I'm talking or about. Or they'll know immediately that you have booze in that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and throw you right out. Right out right in my out. face. Mm-hmm. You should run up that hill for uh, for me for tradition. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't running for shit. I'm an old man now. Yeah, good point. But I imagine it's going to be a busy hill anyway. Oh yeah, I would think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Will. But yeah, it should be uh, should be good. Like I, I got a you know I got a couple of flasks sitting over there in my liquor cabinet. I might just fill a couple up and take a couple growlers, tuck them in your your shirt. Nobody will notice. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just tape one to each arm and put a big shirt on over it. <laughs> right. Fuck one from my pants. Right. <laughs> I've got giant bulls. Oh, man. 
sir, I'm going to have to use the back of my hand to pat you down. <laughs> like, please, <laughs> use the front. <laughs> <laughs> By all means. Yeah. You just, you kind of hunch down a little bit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, you like present. <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Finally, my moment. <laughs> this is worth the price of admission. <laughs> or better yet, they do that, and then you just leave. <laughs> like, thanks. They <laughs> just take off. Like, what the fuck? Like, the fuck was that all what about? The, what the? You just, like, throw your ticket over your shoulder. And, like, yeah, whatever. I'm done. Later, bitches. Yeah. I'm going to beat traffic. <laughs> right. I'm so early beat to beat the traffic that I got caught in the incoming traffic. That would be early. That's pretty early. Yeah. Pretty <clears throat> early. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, man. Well, speaking of hills. Oh, really? Not really. It's a, a Do they mountain. have eyes? No, not this one. No. Um. Well, I guess, yeah, a mountain does have one eye, but that's it. Where's an eye patch? Is that a pirate mountain or some shit? Might be. Sweet. Pirate mountain. Ooh. Huh. Seems like being a pirate mountain wouldn't uh, pay off too well. No? Yeah, I guess that's true. Like, we gotta wait for the ships to come to us. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Oh, they can't get to us. We're too far inland. (laughs) This is a terrible real estate decision. (laughs) Whose idea was it to be pirates? <laughs> Yar. It was Tom, weren't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not going to do that again. Dude, do you remember we were playing, fuck, what was that card game, and I had to talk like a pirate for the whole fucking oh, game? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do remember that. Fuck. I don't remember what game was that, that was, but I do remember that. Huh? Flux? Might have been Flux, or it might have been Drunk Quest. Yeah, it was something. Yeah, you know, it was one of those something like that. I just remember having to talk like a pirate for the rest of the game. <laughs> the game that should not be named. Oh, you ain't kidding. Fuck that game. <laughs> Let us never speak of it again. Yeah, exactly. Oh man, uh, hey kids, you want to pretend you're playing a game, but just get hammered. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to Uncle Tony. And, oh, <laughs> fuck. You like to play card games, roll dice, and enjoy liver damage? (laughs) But never finish the game? (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Let alone maybe the evening? (laughs) You want your brain to go on siesta, but your body to run wild? (laughs) Try Drunk Quest. Oh, man. From Mattel. (laughs) Man, that game. That is something else. It's like Munchkin, but dumber. (laughs) Yeah. And with way more drinking. Oh, boy. So much drinking. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much like, you know, do anything, drink. Yeah. Hey, kids, want to be middle-aged but pretend you're 21 again? (laughs) Yeah. Now, that's a pretty accurate uh, uh, tagline for it. Right. Yeah. Oh, man. Speaking of things that are terrible ideas... Uh, we're still, uh, looking for people for Dude Mountain if you want to join up. Um, it's an NFL Pick'em League against the spread. I'm looking for a Dude Mountain drop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh soon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're just a couple weeks, or what, a week from the beginning of the season? Something like that, a week and a half, whatever it is. I forgot. Yeah, it's, it's wild, really. <clears throat> Pretty soon. Uh, so if you'd like to join, I just need you to send an email to us at saltylanguage at gmail.com or you can demail it. <laughs> demail it? <laughs> That's dick mail, son. Dick mail, son. Yeah. You can DM it, which might as well stand for dick mail. It might as well. <laughs> um, you can DM Super it. Super accurate. To, yeah. <laughs> you can send it to us uh, on Twitter via DM. Uh, <clears throat> you don't want to put it out there for everybody. And I'll fire you off an invite. And it doesn't matter if you even like football. We've, <laughs> like, I'm doing a, a, a gimmick pick where I'm letting a three-year-old copy of uh, Madden Football. I'm simming the games and then applying the spread to them. And then that's how it, I'm picking the winner. You know, So whatever the score of the game is, I look to see if the team covered. 
and then I pick the winner, you know, that way. So that's, that'll be strange. There's, there's a couple of them that the score, like there was one of the games that the score was like 42 to three. And I'm looking at it going, if, if the real score is anywhere near that, I'll be shocked because the worst team is the team that scored 42. <laughs> right. But you never know, you know, maybe they one say, never knows. Yep. So, you know, if you just want to do a, or, you know, Heno lets his dogs pick, um, Garrett's doing one where he's taking the underdog every time, you know, so if, if he's not the underdogs as his team, I'm pretty sure it's something like that. Yeah. Okay. I was to say, right. <clears throat> so yeah, you know, if you want to do something like that, you can join up too. Either way, it's free to play. You know, like I said, we just need your email. All right. That's all we need. Yep. There we go. All right. Business handled. That's some good business, Brian. Got any other business? Oh, I don't uh, know. Nah, I think we're good. Right. Most of the business I handle is towards the end of the show. Ooh. Sad. Mysterious business. <laughs> all right. Well, let's move, I guess, into these other things we wanted to talk about. Oh, you bet. Oh, you know what? what? Like a good podcast, I would have my news stories already pulled up. You want me to start then? I already have mine. All right. So this first one is just horrible. Um, Oh, that's fun. All right. It was something I saw on something on Snapchat like a a few days ago, a week ago, whatever it was. The headline for this is UFC fighter Bryce Mitchell drilled his nuts apart. Um, That sounds horrifying. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to read, and this is a quote from him, like his comment on it because he was training for a, a... uh, fight, uh, and now he's had to quit training because, you know, he tore his balls in half. Um, so now he's got four balls, right? Twice as deadly. Um, or is it four times? I don't, yeah, I don't know. So quote, so I was going to train today, but I ripped my nutsack in half. I'm about to get <laughs> stitched up. I was holding a board over my head with a drill in my pants. I was sizing up the board and the drill went off and tangled my nuts up in it. Oh, my God. Hold on. I dropped the board and reversed the drill and untangled my nutsack, but they ripped in half. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. It says, uh, I'm serious. I don't even know if I have a good sound drop. Oh, for it's just oh. brutal. Got something? Game over, man. That's it, man. That's it, man. Game over, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. So obviously I can't post a pick, but when my nuts are healed back, I'm going to tr- come train again. I think a high kick would re-rip them. Ha ha. <laughs> and if I hear any shitty puns about this whole thing is nutty or screwed up, I ain't talking to, talk to you for about a month. If you're going to drop a pun to make fun of me, at least put some thought into it. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's fair. Fuck. Oof. Um, first off... OSHA would be very interested in the story. I'm just saying. Yeah. Who puts a drill in their p- 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 pants? Oh, sweet Christmas. It looks like he may have posted a picture. Oh, God. I'm, I'm good. I am not looking at that for sure. Yeah, I got an idea. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Um. Why? Yeah, I don't, um, I, I'm with you. I don't understand. Like, actually, the person who, you know, I don't know, wrote, curated this article, whatever, says, I have some questions about the logistics. Where exactly was the drill in his pants? Was it hanging on a loop of sorts right there to be jostled sackward? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, That's a good one. Was it stuck straight in the waistband with the drill resting gently upon his testicles? How many revolutions did the drill make before the twisting was stopped? Yeah, I don't need to know that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Uh, it says, how did his dick survive the carnage? That was the first thing I thought of, was like, how the hell did he not mangle his dick? <sighs> Man. Wow. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I just, I don't know how, I'm not even sure how to react right now. <laughs> yep, right? I mean, I imagine you're the very same way. Yeah, my first very reaction. Very protective of the balls. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> my first reaction was to essentially grab my own balls and be like, oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
man. I mean, hopefully he'll be more careful with a drill going forward. Hopefully he hires a fucking contractor going forward. Yeah, seriously. We remember how everybody talked about how Plaxico Burris was so stupid because he had that uh, gun tucked in the waistband of his sweatpants and it went, you know, it fell and went off or whatever, yeah. or just fired and shot himself in the foot. That doesn't even that that doesn't even rank compared to this one. Yeah, this I'll take so a foot shot all day oh, long. Oh yeah, hell yeah, yeah. I will volunteer to shoot my foot before I would even put myself in a chance to get my balls tore up like that. I mean. I, I, I mean, I I can't imagine <laughs> yeah. the thought going in his head as he's like, "All right, let me undo my pants and see what's going on down here." Right. And then it looks like a fucking pile of shawarma or something, <laughs> right? And then he's his thought, and or, then he's like, "Let me reverse this." Yeah, it's like, "Let me turn this thing the other way." It's like, "Oh, if Superman could save Lois by reversing <laughs> things." <laughs> I could clearly save my nethers. I'll say nope. this. <laughs> Just made it worse. <laughs> well, uh, man. Uh, well, I'm glad he didn't have to, um, you know, like have anything severed or anything afterward, you know, so. Do, do you think he gently reversed the drill or just full bore? Full? I, I think you almost just have to full bore it. It kind of like ripping a Band-Aid off in the worst way. <laughs> oh, God. It's right? So bad. Can you imagine trying to gently run that thing backwards? It, it would, yeah, it just seems like you want to just get it over with. I kind of feel like the move might be to like loosen the chalk on it just to get the drill bit out and just let the tension untangle itself. <laughs> that, that would that might be the best answer. I don't know. But oh, you know, man. I mean, I, I assume if your balls are wrapped around a drill bit and you're there by yourself, <laughs> you know, you're not having the clearest of thoughts. The well, clearly you don't think logically because you put a drill in your pants. <laughs> Dude, that's accurate. That's accurate. Yeah. Oh man. Holy shit. Right? It's been, like, I've known about this story for almost a week now, and it's still, like, rereading it, I was just like, oh, again, you know? Oh, man, fucking, oh, my God. I hope he goes, what, what was his name again? I'm sorry, I forgot his name. Um, Bryce Mitchell. Bryce Mitchell, okay. I hope he goes by, like, Bryce Frankensack Mitchell now. <laughs> he He really needs to go by something that... Like, the that. ball buster. <laughs> oh, if the I meat tornado, dude. If I was fighting him, I would so change my name to like the drill or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Uh. The scrotal hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah, that's that. That would work. Sounds fun, but when you really start to look at it, it's like, that sounds sounds terrible. (laughs) Dude, that'd be the worst storm ever. Oh, my God. It's like a Category 5 scrotal hurricane. Yeah, it's like, you thought Sharknado was bad. (laughs) Wait till you see Scrotonado. Scrotonado. Oh, fuck. Or, sorry, Scurricane, Scrot, Scrot, I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Oh, That's terrifying. Yep. It's all right. So what do you got? I'm sure whatever you have probably will pick the mood up. <laughs> well, I, this is also, I mean, this is also pretty depressing. Oh, okay. Perfect. Uh, you might be find it shocking, first off, that this is found in Florida. Okay. But we regret to inform you that Monkey Mondays have been canceled. I had that one pulled for us to talk about, too. <laughs> I've never read anything, aside from the story I just read, that made me feel sadder. Right, you know. So I didn't um, even know Monkey Mondays were a thing. Why the fuck am I up here? I should be I down know. there. Well, not anymore, it, but not anymore. It's been canceled. Some shithead monkey couldn't behave himself. <laughs> Somebody couldn't just you know deal with a monkey bite. And move on. Right. Jeez. I mean, it was an eight-year-old kid. You know. Yeah. Whatever. Fuck who, that kid. Who takes an eight-year-old kid to Monkey Mondays anyway? Not a good parent. That's Crazy who. shit can happen. It's monkey shit's happening on Monkey Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> monkey shit. I forgot about that. <laughs> so here you go. Dateline, Stewart, Florida. Really? Uh, yes. <sighs> Carabas Italian Grill. It wasn't some local podunk restaurant. It was a Carabas. Yeah, that's my favorite part. <laughs> Is that to enact a no monkey policy? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be in that meeting so bad. <laughs> I know. Okay, who's in favor of Monkey Mondays? 
So <laughs> I am, I am. <laughs> Three weeks later. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, we got to shut down Monkey Mondays. <laughs> Chet, I told you Monkey Monday was a terrible idea. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, I had to enact a no monkey policy after a regular guest, a nine-month-old monkey named Jojo, bit a child last month. Jojo's owners often brought him to brought him and another Capetian monkey to the restaurant's patio. Becoming so popular, customers referred to visits as Monkey Mondays. <laughs> so July 16th. Uh, you know, the monkey owners warned an eight-year-old boy and his father were down on the patio. The monkey was being hyper. The boy went to pet the monkey, who was seated at a high chair, of course. Naturally. <laughs> when the boy went to pet the monkey later, the monkey bit the boy. Now, the thing I'm reading here says that the boy's name was Jackson. J-A-X-O-N. So well, he, he deserves to be bit. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, that's just nature. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that monkey saw weakness. So, um, you know, following a report, Florida Fish and Wildlife went to the monkey owner's house, which they apparently have five monkeys, and the house is fine for the monkeys. All the mm. all the monkeys are updated on their shots, whatever. Mm. But uh, Monkey Mondays has now been canceled at that Carabas. Henceforth, the patio will only be allowed to recognize service dogs and ponies. Oh, I can't wait till a service pony bites someone. Oh, my God. A pony bite is going to hurt way worse than a monkey bite. Yeah, like the thing I'm reading says that the boy, it had a small cut on his hand. It's like, whatever, get over it. Have some yeah. have some various Italian foodstuffs and you'll be, you'll be all right. If I'm a betting man, Brian, mm-hmm. that was the parents of said Jackson freaking the fuck out that a monkey bit their kid. Yeah, I'm pretty upset at them. They ruined Monkey Mondays. Yeah, exactly. I mean, listen, like I said, monkey shit happens at Monkey Monday. Someone's, someone's going to get happen. bit. It's, it happens. It's like I when mean, we all hang out. Somebody gets bit. It happens. I like. I would not recommend going to Chimp Tuesdays. That shit gets crazy. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll rip your face off. That's you a whole different story. Foot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go to Chimp Tuesday. <laughs> right. Chimp shit happens on Tuesdays. Chimp, uh, chimp shit's way different. <laughs> it's way shit. different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Mon- monkey shit's like a couple kids with like you know dress up as ninja turtles over at the playground. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, chimp shit's like full on war. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like ISIS shows up. Yeah. Oh my! Wow, that turned that turned dark. Oh. just saying. Damn people can't have anything nice anymore. I know. This is why we can't have nice things like Monkey Mondays. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I'm so disappointed. So now, what if, Brian, mm-hmm. we open up a restaurant where monkeys are serving the food? Did I think we talked about this before. Did we? I'm pretty sure we've talked about... I mean, it sounds like something we definitely Monkeys in tuxedos about. serving food or something to that effect. I mean, if people are freaked out, we can have like, like you know, like uh, when you get room service, it comes that little plastic tray on top mm-hmm. so people aren't like lock, hock, and loogies and shit in your food. Yeah. It's like anti-monkey tray. So the monkey doesn't get in your, like, rice and beans or something. Monkeys are pretty smart, man. Also, these, saying no rice higher. and beans makes me think you were making a genital reference. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. I don't want the monkeys in my rice and beans either. Exactly. Keep the drills out of it, too. Oh, well, yeah, that's a good point. Accurate. Yikes. Yikes, Ugh. indeed. Ugh. <sighs> I don't know. I, I think full-service chimp. Mm-hmm. Which is the next name of my movie. <laughs> <laughs> now, is that a family movie or a porn? Because I feel oh, like it could go either way. <laughs> it's about a chimp hitman. Oh, okay. Full service chimp. Okay. All right. Yeah. Took it away. I didn't expect <laughs> I was just waiting for you to be like, it's about a chimp that works at a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out and checks your oil. <laughs> yeah. It's got the rag hanging out of his back pocket. Oh, adorable. <laughs> you know, in his, uh, his uh, work suit, you know. Okay, that's way better my idea. <laughs> that's just like the movie. It's just yeah. just his adventures. <laughs> it's actually a touching tale of him trying to keep the gas station alive yeah. for his family. Right. <laughs> uh, it's like this monkey this gas station's been in my family for years. I'm like, when did this monkey learn to talk? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Win one chimp. <laughs> what he'll sacrifice for his family. Mm. 
full service champ. And then it ends with a ding ding as the car pulls in. Yep. <laughs> you see, he's got his hat pulled low, you know, <laughs> like he, he's like got his feet kicked up, you know, he's like he's taking a nap, you know, he gets up and wipes his hands on the rag, you know. Like he's checking the oil and the people inside the car like, ah, talk about a grease monkey. And yeah. it's just like depressing music playing. No, then he shuts the hood and goes, monkeys have tails. It'll be 350, sir. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Monkeys have tails. But this chimp has a story. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> we need to write this movie. We need to fast track this one. Old service chimp. <laughs> my new favorite thing. This may be our, my favorite movie thing we've talked about since White Mud. <laughs> I can't get over <laughs> monkeys. I have tails. But this chimp has a story. <laughs> oh man! Oh, makes me so happy. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm tearing up over here. <laughs> Me too. Woo! Oh, shit. That's so fucking great. <laughs> I can just see the poster, <laughs> <Right>. too. <laughs> and the voiceover, it's just, yeah. It's, yeah. He's just with, like this greasy coveralls <laughs> with a, maybe a towel, and it's all black and white. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> the chimp wins an Academy Award. <laughs> Best performance by a chimp. <laughs> in the a traumatic role goes to Jojo to Monk oh wait Jojo was Monkey Monday god damn it yeah no. there goes all the creativity right, right. Out the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a monkey we're, we're dealing with chimps here Tony come yeah, on god damn it oh man Ooh. that's, that's funny <laughs> uh, good times good times wow yeah it is that's good stuff yeah now, uh, does he have a chimp family? I feel like he has to. Is he married to, like, a human, and they catch flack in the town because Oh, of man. Uh, ooh, that's a tough one. Because, you know, obviously there's got to be somebody who wants the property that the gas station is on. You of know? course. Yeah. And he's trying to raise enough money to buy it outright or something to that effect so that they can't put a, I don't know, I, I don't know. Whatever, a KFC there or whatever it is. A Carabas. A Carabas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's he's very anti monkey Monday. Super. He doesn't like his, his monkey friends being uh exploited. Right. Brings them down. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I just want this I just want to make the trailer for this. <laughs> mm hmm You know what's really funny is I almost feel like you could shoot the trailer with Clint Eastwood as the chimp and it would work. It yeah, probably like, cause it, you know, at some point you have that tight shot of just his eyes. He squints like he always does, you know, yeah. as he's kind of looking at the horizon, you know, hoping it's for about cars. Time we just call him squint Eastwood. <laughs> yes. I will allow okay. this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Actually, I want, you know what? Forget it. I want Clint Eastwood to direct this movie. I agree. Be Perfect. Maybe. From the director of Unforgiven. <laughs> oh. That boxing movie where she broke her neck in that super racist movie. <laughs> Million Dollar Baby, and I forgot the super That's racist it. movie. <laughs> Million Dollar Baby and Grand Torino. There you go, yeah. Clint Eastwood. <laughs> Brings this this chimp to life. <sighs> Perfect. Amazing. Yep. Yep. All right, so what else we got here? <clears throat> well, um, I, I know you're a fan of Lego. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have you heard what Lego uh, did this week, Brian? I, I think friend? they're they're running the test car right up, and you're at the the track right now, aren't you? Where they're it running the car, like, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, Lego built a life size Bugatti Chiron that runs. <laughs> That's that's crazy awesome. I because I, I've seen them make like life size cars before, but they didn't run. Like they did a, I think like a sixty five Mustang or something, but it didn't run. It was just you know just the car. 
The the thing is ninety percent Lego. The only thing that's not Lego, it's got a small steel frame on it. Okay. And the tires and wheels are real. They're wow. actual Bugatti wheels. Okay. But um, I'm okay with yeah, that because it's got having Lego wheels would be weird. That would be weird. I don't think that would work real well. <laughs> um. So let's see here. Uh. Let's see here. The Lego Chiron has some outrageous specs. Just have me outrageous in a different way. The motor, which is made of Lego, generates 5.3 horsepower, reaches speeds of 12 miles per hour, a theoretical top speed of 18. Damn. And it weighs 3,000 pounds. Took 20 people six months to, or takes 20 people six months to put together the 1,800 parts to make up a real Bugatti Chiron. The Lego one took the same amount of time, but it's compromised of over 1 million Lego Technic pieces. Wow. There's... And I don't I don't know if people like understand how much work goes into like planning and building like for the Lego sets and stuff, as well as any of these big displays that they do. Like they have full on engineers that work on these. This isn't just people willy nilly building stuff a lot of the times, you know, like there's you know, they sit down and plan out the pieces that they need and all this kind of stuff. I've I saw um uh like a <clears throat> now hiring thing for it years ago. And when you start reading like what you have to have to get that job, it, it's crazy. Cause you'd be like, well, like even just to be one of the like builders, you still have to have a lot of skills. Right. You know, they aren't just hiring, you know, you and I after a couple all days to, <laughs> you know, build, build a car. Bastards. I know. But I mean, if you, if you look at the pictures, it looks like mm-hmm. a Chiron. It's crazy looking. Yeah. And it's got, um, it has a functional speedometer that's made from Lego. Uh, it has an active rear spoiler that pops out of the back end, just like the real car. Nice. The doors are Lego. The headlights and taillights, which work, are all Lego. Steering wheel and a brake pedal, Lego, all work. That's so crazy. It's insane. Yeah. I love it. I yeah. love the fact, like, the the best part of it to me is the fact that they made a Lego engine for yes. it. Yes. Because I know, like, with some of the various Technic sets and stuff for Legos, you can... You know, it's not like a, a, you know, a real engine, but it's essentially something that, you know, like it'll turn as you're, you know, rolling whatever it is you make or something. And it'll actually, you know, it, it's a motor, but it's not like a gas powered motor or something like that, you know. <clears throat> right, exactly. That's so I mean, cool. If you look at the side by side of a real one to the Lego one, they look, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that picture. It is pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, bravo to Lego. That takes an insane amount of building and planning and that's mm-hmm. crazy to me yep i couldn't even think about what it takes to get that you know planned out and designed honestly yeah that's why i said it's like because you know that, that that's just a lot of that is just going to be sitting down you know with with paper figuring out you know not only the aesthetic build but the logistics of how many pieces what pieces fit best you know I can't. Yeah, that's got to be nuts to plan those. Like as you're doing something with them, and just be like, nah, I don't know, that doesn't work as well, and have to, and basically keep changing out pieces till you find what works the best, kind of a thing. You know, I'm sure they have some sort of computer program to do it on, but I'm sure, but still, still, yeah, yeah, but the, yeah, the fact that it has a, a working Lego engine <laughs> that moves that thing, the three thousand pound piece of Lego, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. I want one. That's pretty awesome. I know, right? That's what like Chuck needs to roll around up at the cottage. <laughs> Lego Bugatti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the worst so part. I... The worst part about it is that it only goes like twelve to eighteen miles an hour. You know, and people see it and think, "Oh, that's it." I mean, it looks fucking cool, though. It's like, yeah, but dude, it's Lego. Yeah, look at it. It's three thousand pounds, and it goes, you know, twelve to eighteen miles an hour. That's impressive. Well, belly flops through the hood. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That'd be so annoying. Some asshole just starts taking pieces off. I wonder do they I wonder if they glue the pieces together. They said it was built without using glue. Really? Nice. Yeah. I always wonder that because on some of them it's like you know, it wouldn't change it to me. You know, like I wouldn't think less of it if it was. Right. You know, because, like, you're building something, if you're going to put it on, like, the road, I, you know, I want it to hold together. <laughs> right. But that's that's awesome if they didn't, though. Wow. Kudos to yeah. you, Lego yeah. folk. Yeah, for sure. Props to Lego. Mm-hmm. 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 
So, did you see that uh, <clears throat> in Toronto, there uh, there's going to be the first known sex doll brothel? Oh, jeez. Come on, Canada. <laughs> Offering sexual services with six silicone-made dolls. I thought that would have been Japan all day. <laughs> right. Or here. Yeah. No, I did not see that. Yeah, uh, it says, according to the website for Aura Dolls, the company behind the brothel, the vision is to bring a new way to achieve sexual needs, quote, without the many restrictions and limitations that a real partner may come with, end quote. Like, like the they're flipping flapper. Yeah, I was gonna say like the ability to say no. Um, yes. Yeah. So is this gonna be discounted? Because all they really have to do come in is just hose the thing off, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's the te- most terrifying part. Is like, can I get a Groupon? <laughs> oh my! You just roll a bus up there and ri- run a train on them. I mean, is that what you're like? Right? Yeah. Oh my! I'm very curious about the whole. Wow, <laughs> uh, the dolls are made of silicone, which is designed to give them a realistic look and feel. She said, "In order to sanitize the dolls, Lee said a three-step routine is used after each booking. Thank God." Um, however, staff still highly recommend the use of condoms, according to the website. But why? Just getting these bitches pregnant. No, <laughs> but just in case whoever went before you has, yeah, I know, you know some dirt ball. <laughs> yeah, but, like scabby you know, dick. Yeah, exactly. Dick looks like Indian corn. <laughs> oh man, that's <laughs> his dick looks like what's his name's balls from that other story. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh man. Wow, I'm pulling up the website right now, yeah. and one. Um, I've seen some pictures of real dolls. They're like, eh, that's passable. These are not. <laughs> no. Well, according to to this thing, they're, they have six different, um, oh, shoot, where did it go? There's six different female dolls advertised. Exotic girls to cater to everyone's choice of beauty, the website reads. Yeah. Hey, so boss, ever wanted to fuck a mannequin? <laughs> right? I've seen that movie once. They fall in love. It says they also they plan on expanding their collection in the near future. So the money end of this, which I'm sure everyone's curious about, is half an hour with one of the dolls is eighty bucks. With two dolls running hundred and sixty dollars. Oh, so you can have a threesome. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> for an hour the cost is hundred and twenty dollars with one doll. The maximum listed time is four hours for four hundred and eighty dollars per doll. That is crazy. Yeah. That isn't who I'm going to need four hours of this hunk of silicone. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Because it's going to be three and a half hours of foreplay, a half hour just busted. <laughs> right. I mean, really? <laughs> oh, man. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, according, uh, apparently a counselor in the area is... Um, Oh, you know what? I'm looking at the wrong link. I'm looking at one that opened up in Germany. Oh. Ooh. They're looking to make sure that basically this is legal. I, I don't, I mean, truth be told here, what could be illegal about it? Um, They've got Which a is- law in that area, according to this, that says it prevents retail sex shops operating outside of industrial areas. So if that's the case, they can't operate this outside of oh, those okay. areas. Okay, I, I see what they're going for. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, it's it's a sex shop, boys. So yeah, you know, they're not selling dildos or anything. But right, he I said, was like, I thought it was like some sort of you know prostitution thing. It's like it's not though. Yeah, because it's a doll. <laughs> yeah, you fucking a Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. I don't know about all this. Yeah, right. I feel like there's there's some really good um, social experimenting around this, though. Well, I just read an interesting part of this article. Mm. It says there's no humans there. Yeah. You just put your payment on the counter and you go to a room. We don't have staff, just a camera. Well, that's way creepier. I'd rather have right? somebody at the door. 
Yeah, some ghoul. Like, hey, you want an old ginger? Yeah. Took her for a spin. <laughs> hey, aren't you the guy that doesn't want him hosed off before you get him? Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, man. This is something. Yeah, that is something, isn't it? I just feel like if you want to fuck a doll like this, it's like just, just, you know, save, save your pennies and then, um, uh, you know, just, just buy a real doll and, you know, take it out on but, dates and everything. I mean, aren't real dolls like stupid expensive? Probably. I don't, <clears throat> I haven't looked into them, but probably. Oh, oh, hold on. I didn't see this. Apparently, there's a follow-up to this. Oh, really? Yep. Sextile Brothel won't open in planned North York location after all. How dare they? I know. Saying it was informed the brothel's lease agreement with the property had been terminated. Um, Yep, because of the zoning and licensing bylaws. God damn it. Honey, cancel the hotel. (laughs) Damn it. I was I was like, man, let's you know, I gotta I gotta get my uh passport. Like it's time to go to Toronto. Right. Well, you know what? Oh jeez. Scroll too far down. God damn it. There you go. Build your own sex build your own real dial, Brian. Okay. I'm clicking on it. Oh, okay. I, if you go to realdial.com, don't scroll too far south because eventually you hit the real cock segment. <laughs> Thanks for taking the bullet there. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, because I was like, man, these dials are passable. Oh, geez, that's a dick. <laughs> wow, <laughs> starting price $5,999.99. Oh, that seems affordable. Is that for, like, now do they work like cars to where, you know, you just get the base model and then you can. Upgrade or I don't know. Well, right now it's offering me a face option. We have the magnetic face, which seems weird, the full head, or the wicked real doll, which sounds super Boston. What should we go with? <laughs> wicked real doll for sure. Wicked real doll. Oh, it won't let me click on it. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I gotta pick a face. Oh, okay. hmm. hmm. Let's see here. There's an Asa Akira. What <laughs> that's a real person. Why would she do that? Yeah, right. Because I'm sure they paid her a bunch of money. Probably. Yeah. So we'll go with Asa Akira. It's a red dot. I'm sure it's like an exclusive model or some shit. Probably. Yes, I'm, we're all for, You don't have to open it up. We're all familiar who she is. Or this, it, I, this website's garbage, maybe, Brian. Maybe it just alerts the FBI or something. Maybe. <laughs> like, this dude's a creep. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, so I picked the Asa. Mm-hmm. Now I have to pick the body type. Hmm. Hmm. They're all basically the same. Looks like giant. T- oh, I see. There is slight differences. Let's see here. We'll go with body type SS. Not for the reason everyone's thinking. Shortstop? I don't know what SS means, but the chick is thick. <laughs> White tan? Um, hmm. Ooh, hand-painted eyeballs. Now we're talking. That looks good as fuck. Okay, so here's a question for you. Honeycomb gold. What's up? If they had the option to get hand-painted eyeballs or, like, computer, you know, like, robot-painted eyeballs, which one do you pick? Does it matter? Um, well, it's either basic high realism realism or hand-painted. Uh Okay. I mean, I'm buying a piece of art here, Brian. <laughs> You're, right. I mean, I, You're I, right. I just opted for the hand punched eyebrows. Of course. We're gonna we're gonna go standard makeup though, because I'm not a huge makeup guy. <laughs> Light makeup, thank you. Eyeliner color. So your gold eyes. What goes with gold eyes? Brown eyeliner. I don't know shit about makeup. <laughs> <laughs> this I seems like khaki. You know, hold on. This actually seems like a a bit of a problem because most guys are not going to have a clue about makeup. It seems like they should maybe have a little, like, you know, like if you choose one thing and be like, we suggest this palette, you know? You you would think, right? Yeah. Nah, there's just guys with, like, raging dicks, like, clicking away, looking (laughs) with their PayPal card or something in their hand. They don't care about the eyes anyway. Exactly. Yeah. Tramber lifts. Now we're talking. Those look like some DSLs. (laughs) Grape nails, why not? I don't know. Ooh, 
We'll go standard here. I know what special request is. I don't want to fuck with it. Oh, special request, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cool. Can I get um, a mullet? <laughs> they got like a fair faucet here, dude. We're doing that. <laughs> now we're talking. Uh, I can't wait to see oh, your reenacting you of the Farrah Fawcett poster. Not only can you pick the fit girl, you can up the breast cup size. <laughs> well, of course. For those real freaks out there. Wow. Oh, hey, vaginal style. All right, now we're, we're talking. What? Oh, it's either removable or permanent. Oh, wow. So just like real life, yeah. Just like real life. Yeah. What are the extras? Oh, my god. Uh, custom freckles, piercings. VIP access. I don't know what that is. Oh, a uh, lube. Hmm. You can add lube. That's an that's an interesting. So like the thing has its own like produces its own lube. That's weird. No, it just has little bottles you can buy. Oh, okay. I thought maybe like you yeah. put the bottle in the back or something or in some compartment and then you know, kind of just squeeze it and some comes out or something. You know, like if you're washing your hands in the bathroom. R- yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Now, now you also have um, Brian, <clears throat> mm. and this is odd to me. For four hundred and ninety nine dollars extra, yeah. and you would think it would be even a little more. You can get the transgender converter. You can get a medium dick or a large dick. Same price. Seems like a savings, right? <laughs> I mean, clearly you get the large dick. <laughs> more silicone for your bang for your buck, right? Right. right. <laughs> Uh, so you can add the cleaning kit for twenty five dollars and a dial stand for three hundred fifty, and feel, then they all they. Huh? I feel like you should definitely opt for the uh, cleaning kit. <laughs> yeah, the cleaning kit seems like a good move. Yeah, <laughs> dial stand. You don't want that. Who you cares? want this hidden away in the shame closet. Not me. I, right out in the living room. <laughs> right out in the living room. Yep. Now or right on the kitchen now, table. You know, <laughs> for all the selections I picked, I did leave the dick out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This real doll is going to cost me six thousand eight hundred twenty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Now, how much with the dick? <laughs> no. With the dick, we're top. We're going over nine thousand. Wow, that's quite a difference. But the problem is, if I want this chick soon, mm-hmm. I could pay an extra thirteen hundred dollars for express production. How long is the wait? Otherwise, does it say? It doesn't say to wait, but this is fifty percent faster. Now, for the low, low cost of twenty-seven hundred dollars. I can get it 75% faster. Right? Like, if I got to fuck soon. <laughs> but not 100% soon. Like, nah, yeah. I can wait a little bit. <laughs> like, like I'm on the website making selections, and I'm about to bust. Right. I'm clicking that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I can't wait for UPS to show up. <laughs> or whoever delivers the shit. <laughs> oh, man. This is fascinating. <laughs> You know, I'm sure they, they have discrete packaging, but I would love if it just had just all the real doll stuff, like, all over the outside of it. Oh, my God. That would be amazing, yeah, wouldn't it? Right. Wow, Brian. <sighs> wow. Oh, you can get them from 510 to 410. Nice. Only yeah. up to 510? What if you like a really tall woman? I know. What if you, what if you, you know, deaf by snoo snoo? Yeah, I was going to say, what if you want, like, an Amazon? Yeah. Right? <laughs> Great now. Wow. I can this o- is... only go to five ten with my Wonder Woman real dial now. Great. Right? Yeah, wow. I am uh I am fascinated by this man. Yeah. And I'm assuming this is all nude too, right? Like there's no clothes or anything that come with them. No, I you gotta take her out shopping once she shows us up. <laughs> of course. Just like, like I just dropped almost ten G's on this bitch, now I gotta dress her. Yeah. For sure, banging her first. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my. This is the most fascinating. I can't believe this stuff, nonsense. Realdolls.com, guys. Real doll, not dolls. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. They also have pre-made models, apparently. Yeah, but, I mean, that's like getting flash work at a tattoo shop. This, <laughs> you know, if you're gonna get a piece of art, get a piece of art. <laughs> that's true. Don't that's get true. something that's cookie cutter. Come on. Yeah, exactly. What are we fucking around here or some shit? <laughs> yep. Yeah. They also uh, they they sell also just torsos. That's it's cool. just like it looks like a serial killer thing, and they have the auto blow too. That sounds exciting. Wow. Is it just a head? 
It's just a machinery. It looks okay. like a robot. Well, I'm it's just like the it's the it, that's the robot that starts the Terminator Revolution. It's like I just suck dick for a living. These guys got to die. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, yep. fires up Skynet. Yep. Thanks, Auto Blow. Yep, that's that's the one that that's the tipping point. That's yep. the tipping point. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. Wow. Well, that was a fun trip down. Rio that Dome. was something, all right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Holy hell. I'm not including that in the links. So you can find it yourself. I've already <laughs> fouled my computer. I have to wipe this fucker. And by wipe, I mean throw it in a fire pit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> wow. Right? All uh, right. You got anything else? Uh, well, I have one more PBR in my cooler. <laughs> well, you should definitely crack that open. Just like that. Um, did you know, Brian? I did know, Brian. today, oh. to date... Eminem dropped a new album secretly? Yeah, I saw it last night because it blowed up the internet. Yeah, right? I know that's how secret it is, right? Everyone knows about it. Yeah. Um, I listened to about three tracks with it earlier this morning. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. I want to listen to the rest of it. I like it so far. I've heard there's a lot of name dropping. and. Yeah, apparently he blows such. up all the peoples, mm-hmm. which is fine. Yeah. I wish he could do it without, like, you know, various... Um, you know, like, Gazler's, though. You know? It's like, you'd think it by now it'd be like, come on, man. You know? You, you would think? You can write a little better than that. Yeah. You would definitely think so, but... Yeah. You know what? I, uh, just... People didn't know it, but I got a secret album dropping called Monkey Shit. That... <laughs> no. I just wish you'd, you'd, you'd cut it out with the chimp talk. <sighs> That'd be great. I know, right? Yep. Yeah, that was, it was crazy because um, last night I saw, on t- you know, on the trending on Twitter and I see Eminem and I'm like, oh boy, what did he do now? You know? And because, you know, wasn't expecting new album and then when I clicked on it and I was like, oh, surprise new album with a homage to the Beastie Boys licensed to ill for the cover. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, I like that too. Yeah. So when I first saw the cover on Spotify, I was like, oh, very nice. Mm-hmm. It was funny. I saw some people on Twitter that were, you know, I oh, ripped that off from, I'm like, first of all, he didn't, like, make that. Um, <laughs> but second of all, you know, there's such a thing as an homage that's not a, a blatant rip. Like, it, yeah, it, exactly. you know, like there there's a subtle difference in the art world between those things. <clears throat> but Agreed. Whatever. Whatever, Whatever, right? Yep. So, yeah, I heard he but, yeah. takes apart a bunch of mumble rappers, it. which, good. I'm tired of this mumble rap bullshit. Old man rant time. <laughs> what, about, what about Kiki? Do you love me? Not a bad track. I know people hate shit on Drake, but I heard it came up randomly on my Spotify. I'm like, this ain't bad. <laughs> yeah. You kids and your... Your new music. We're, we're damn near, you know, well, you know, you're going to be 40 in a fucking eye blink. Yeah. I'm going to be 40 soon, and we're over here talking about new rap. We're yeah. those guys. Yeah. Well, at least I'm taking the old man stance on it, so. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Good point. I'm like, back in my day. Well, because I'm, I'm the youngin'. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. I am the cantankerous old one of us. Yeah. Clearly. <clears throat> uh, all right. Anything else? I, I have yeah, a. Well, I have oh, a. What? Go ahead. Oh, I was like, I have a, a. Shut up and take my money. Let me scroll my thing up. Nope. Shut up and take my money. So he says. Shut up and take my money. Remix. Oh, you. So aside from you know like officially announcing the married with children pops. Um, which makes me so happy. Um, they also announced that they're going to be, <clears throat> that they made a, a biggie pop forever ago. Like it was one of the early ones and, you know, goes for ungodly amounts of money now. Um, but they're making two new ones. There you go. Tony. Right. I just sent you the link to it. Um, but I love the fact the one is, you know, with him with the crown, there it is. And Your Skype is still screwing me up. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. 
But, uh, you know, and the other one's him in, like, a basketball jersey with a do-rag and sunglasses and stuff. So, um, I think he has a mic in his hand. I can't quite see it. But <clears throat> I was just happy to see that. I was like, the one on the left with the crown, I was like, I'm going to have to get me that biggie. Well, because biggie. Mm-hmm. Sometimes his words just hypnotize me. God damn it, Brian. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Settle down, dude. I know, right? What, is there um, Funko Wu-Tang Clan? No. There Why should the fuck be. Not? That'd be awesome. But no. No. They're, they're starting to do more um, more music ones. They should. Yeah. <clears throat> like, you know, there's a bunch, or not a bunch, but there's, what, three or four Prince ones that are going to be coming out. Pretty Actually, there are, at least one of them's already out because I saw it on at GameStop. <clears throat> right. Um, they just put Rush ones out for the uh, Fan Expo in Canada. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Need something to melt. Um, melt faces. <laughs> what? No. I'll yeah, melt their I'm... faces. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. I can't think who else. I mean, I, they just had uh, Kurt Cobain ones. They had Elton John. Uh, Kiss. They had a Kiss ones. Long time ago, they made Kiss. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. They just Dude, you, did... know some, you know what's made for Funko Pops? What's that? War. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it totally would be. Fucking Gore Pops would be amazing. Yeah. Um, who else did they? Oh, Motley Crue, Metallica. Um, right. three of the original members of Guns N' Roses. Um, I'm trying to think who else they've made. Bowie? Not yet. Well, there's a Labyrinth. Astros. There's a Labyrinth one. And I want Bowie with, like, you know, Ziggy Stardust action. No, not yet. There, people w- really would like to have one, but <clears throat> not yet. Starts. What about Ghost? That'd be a good one to do. No, I don't think so. I I know that's that might be a little too like anti-religious feeling. It even might be, yeah. They for Funko, have, I don't. You never know though, you know, because sometimes something like that could be done for like their website or something, you know. Yeah. Um, they did Gerard uh, Way ones from My Chemical Romance. Uh, Hot Topic right. had like three or four, I think, different ones of him. Um, <clears throat> there's oh Jerry Garcia. Um, there's probably been others I can't think of off the top of my head, but you know, like I said, there's there's I mean, there's gonna be a Mariah Carey one where she's in her Santa baby or whatever the fuck the song is, I forgot. Oh god. Yeah. Oh fit. The coolest of the new ones will be Prince with the motorcycle from Purple Brain. You know. That would be amazing. Yeah, that one they're making. So it's that'll Purple be Purple <laughs> Brain. It should have a button. It just does that every time you hit it. You know, actually, I I was reading uh, a couple days ago. It looks like um, there's some things showing up in like Walgreens system that says like Iron Man with light up. So it looks like they may be taking that next step into, you know, oh boy, yeah. So there's oh some boy. there's some real cool stuff that could be done with that because you know after that, obviously, you got to have you know time to put voice chips in them. Yep, it's only a matter of time. Yep. They're going to call turns you. Then puppet master and they're marching around killing us. <laughs> Along with that suck bot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They're led by the suck bot. <laughs> Yikes. I've analyzed thousands of pints of their DNA. <laughs> <laughs> Poor suck bot. I like that you chose pints as the unit of measurement. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, perfect. All right, so. Hey, once the uh, pint reservoir is full in the suck pot, you got to empty it. Do you, though? The, uh, you know, auto blow cafe's first, you know, janitor's first day on the job. Oh. Got to hose out the suck pot. <laughs> it's the suck pot's favorite part of the day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, finally. <laughs> finally. Oh, my God. Once it becomes sentient, you know. It's over. Yeah. Yeah. See, that? It, that's not what... It, it wasn't a drill that fucked up his balls. <laughs> suck bot suck gone bot. wrong. Like, you're not supposed to put the balls in the suck bot. It's not built for that yet. <laughs> it's true. You know, probably tucking them in before, you know, 
Just the thumbing him in there. <laughs> yeah, you just got to thumb him in. Yeah. You know? Hey, here's, you know, fucking a couple plums for you. God damn it. Uh, <clears throat> so, in, in, you know, all sorts of controversial topics, did you see Louis C.K. did his first bit of stand-up since um, he admitted to being a creep? Uh, um, no, but I mean, I knew it wouldn't, it, he wasn't going to go away. No. It's just a matter of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I didn't see that though. Yeah. And it, boy, I'll tell you what, I've seen a lot of stand up comics basically like he needs to be kept away from the community. He needs like calling for him to be done basically. Really? Yeah. Stand ups. Why? I thought it's stand ups are some of the most awful people I've ever known in my life. Not that I know any of them. Right. <laughs> but by listening to podcasts and radio shows that are all stand-ups, you yeah. hear the way they talk. Yeah. They're horrible people. Mm. Especially to themselves. That's yeah. why that kind of shocks me that they're like, raw, keep them away. Who cares? I understand. Yeah. I, from uh, Never mind. Yeah. I'll get, I'll get off my high horse right. here. I'll get off my suck bot. No, <laughs> no I get it because it's, it is um, uh, like you know, someone, I saw one person on Twitter made a comment that, you know, he's been punished or whatever. And of course, then there was the counter, like, how was he punished? It's like, you know, those women had to live with these things and get blackballed and all this. And he's, you know, he's already rich, you know, like he's already right. gotten, you know, so even if he doesn't do any more, he still made a good amount of money kind of a situation. But yeah, it's a tough one. And I, you know, that's not so much where I wanted to get into that, but it was more that, um, some of these other guys that have been linked to these things have just kind of disappeared and not resurfaced really. You know, I was a little surprised he resurfaced as quickly as he did. Cause it's only been like three months. Right. You know, I, I figured it would be, <clears throat> excuse me, like a good six months to a year before he would kind of show up again, but nope. <clears throat> yeah, I saw people calling for, like, if he shows up to do, like, a, you know how um, bigger name comics, they show up and they bump somebody at the comedy store or whatever. Like, somebody calling for them to, um, like, if people are there and he comes in to leave, basically. To hmm. basically tell the establishment, it's like, we won't support you if you support him kind of a thing. So, this is a... It's a really interesting situation. Right. You know, because I, like I said, that was what I was wondering with a lot of these these guys who've been accused or admitted or whatever of these things is how a lot of them kind of just, like I said, just go away. You know, like, honestly, that's what I thought was going to happen with Chris Hardwick, too. But AMC apparently feels, you know, that I, I don't know, because they gave him the talking dead or whatever back. So. Right. Well, that, that I mean, that it seems like the stuff that came out with him was like, you know, <laughs> really? my ex is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it really came out of a he said, she said, and that, yeah. that's a tough one. Yeah. Not that I want to minimize any woman who's, you know, potentially gone through that, because if those things are true, that sounded terrible. Well, yeah, for sure, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, anyway, I guess we'll move on, because we generally don't want to hang on these topics from <laughs> yeah right exactly <laughs> there's other podcasts if you want to listen to the ins and outs of these things you know i will say this though i would love to to be able to sit in a room with comedians and just hear their opinions on this where you know like with no 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 recording equipment you know no ramifications because i'm really curious how many of them are like Okay, would be okay with him coming back, you know, or what they feel would be a fair timeline for him to go away and then come back or whatever, you know. Uh, I there has to be comedians talking about this on. I haven't to say on air on record somewhere. Yeah, I haven't heard very many. There was one I can't remember which podcast it was. Where, where, like, a few of the comedians talked about it a little bit, and they were kind of, like, they were all, like, you know, he should be done kind of a situation. Right. You know, pretty harsh on him. So, or not harsh, because he admitted to these things. It's it's not allegations with him. You know, they're he admitted to them. 
So it's, it, you know, I don't know. It, it's very interesting though. Cause I gotta feel like there's some of the comedians too that are taking this, this side of it because they know if they don't take this side of it, it'll really hurt them. Right. You know, and I don't mean bigger ones that can absorb that hit. You know, I'm talking the like mid card to opener ones. You know, you don't probably want to ally yourself with potentially a sinking ship, you know. Well, it's it's funny the way comedians are because there's a a podcast I I haven't listened to in a while because I've been way behind on my shit. But a podcast I listen to and it's uh, one of the comedians that hosted was uh, Louis' opener for a long time. Mm Mm-hmm. Like before, and like as the stuff hit, he was still his opener. Oh wow! And and it's funny because he makes fun of Louis about the whole thing in his podcast still. Wow! So you can see the relationship they have. Yeah, you know, that's it's like, like that comedian relationship, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I know. It's a it's a weird thing. It is. Like I, I like I don't. I mean, I know what Louis did was pretty shitty, but I don't think he's a, a Weinstein type of situation. Yeah, yeah, the only way, <clears throat> the only way it could be, like we talked about this before, but it was that potentially, like either he had his lawyer kind of bully people, or the lawyer acted of his own volition. That's we don't know. Either way, it's not okay because you know, if the lawyer acted that way, he should have fired the lawyer. You know, those right, kind of things. right. But, <clears throat> so that would put him kind of in that a little more in that camp. But you know, ultimately, I mean that you know. I, I, you know, that kind of shit shouldn't be tolerated or made light of, you know, like he, he should, you know, he should get a kick in the gut out of this, you know, for sure. Right. You know, he shouldn't come out Teflon. None, no, no one, if, if these guys have done it. And again, with him, I use the, the fact that he admitted a lot of these others have denied it or just gone away, you know, right, right. some of them have just disappeared and that's it. Or they put up a denial and then you won't, you don't hear from them again. You know, like I know like it's yeah. Aziz Ansari just disappeared for a while, basically. Like, he, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, and he was kind of in a lot of stuff for a while. And then all of a sudden it, these, you know, the accusations came out and I don't know if he put a denial up or anything. I don't remember, but then all of a sudden he was just poof, you know? Uh, it's like, I honestly don't know if he put up a denial or not. Yeah. Which I'm sure, you know, part of that's a lawyer. I'm sure they have lawyers and, um, public relations people that are like, you know, hey, cool it for a while. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, go on, you know, yeah, hit the mattresses, like in yeah, the mafia stuff. Yeah, go take a vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Um, okay. Do you have anything else or cue the W time? I, I do, I do. Oh, all right. Then. I, got, I got one more thing. Let's hear it. This is something, and I'm not sure how... Uh, I'm going to manage this, but it's something I want to play. Okay. These guys created a uh, giant tabletop Game of Thrones board game. Really? Right? Okay. It takes place in the times before Game of Thrones now where, uh, was it the Mad King was conquering the, you know, the, the, the kingdom? Mm-hmm. And so this is a 33-player game. Wow. It splits into eight teams of four, representing the, representing the the eight houses of Westeros that were existed at that time, mm-hmm. right? And then you know, each house has a has a there'll be a lord, an heir, a knight, and a meister, and strengths and weaknesses, blah blah blah. And then the last person playing is the lord of the Night's Watch. Huh. So, and it's like uh, it's it sound from reading it, it sounds like. It's all about conquering lands and all that, but it, it's like the game diplomacy where you make deals behind people's backs. I was just gonna say that. I was like, yeah. I, from I, that was the first thing I pictured was you know diplomacy, access and allies, kind of a concept where you know you can work as you know uh, right because I've seen people play teams like access and allies, you know. So but it's a, yeah. it says the uh, that the the Lord of the Night's Watch. Yeah, you know, which sounds like a boring thing because you're by yourself. You're you're at the wall, like you know, bitching about the winter's coming, basically. <laughs> yeah. But what makes the job that that role in this game cool is if like there's a house losing points because there's things are going afoot. You as Lord Night's Watch can coerce them 
into joining the Night's Watch, and then it like clears the slate of all their like nonsense. Oh, interesting. You know. Hmm. So it sounds like an interesting game, and what's best is the people that created this hmm. are giving away for free <laughs> as a PDF. Oh, really? Yes. Nice. On DriveThroughRPG.com. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how I could possibly get 33 people to play. That's the problem, yeah. I wonder, Could you play with less, I wonder? It doesn't seem like it, because every, yeah. every house is four people. Oh, right, yeah. You know? I, it, if, there's, if the game is designed well enough, you should be able to eliminate, say, one of those positions and still be able to play the game, or maybe even at two positions, or, some, or one person does two things, you know, type of thing or something. I don't know. But yeah, because getting that many people together, it's like the only time you're really generally going to do that's either at a game shop or like a gaming convention. You know, I'm sure like game, I, I, games of that would be awesome to watch at like Gen Con or something. And you know how they just have those rooms that are just for open, you know, for open gaming. Right. Well, I've been trying to think of how to because ever since I read this article the other day, I'm like, I want to play this fucking game. Right. <laughs> and the only way I could think to organize it would be use some, like, meetups. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You could. Because uh, other than that, I don't know what else to do. Yeah, like I said, because it's, you know, you know, like when we had our, our shop, we maybe could have gotten people to, you know, come in. But even that, I think, would be a tough draw. Right. You know? Uh, yeah. Unless, like you said, unless you uh, schedule a, a meetup or something like that ahead of time. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I downloaded it. Mm-hmm. So I haven't opened up the zip files yet, but I did download it because I'm like, this needs to happen. It sounds amazing. <laughs> Especially for free. Yeah. It really does sound cool. I I, yeah. I, I love the idea of it. Because I, you know, I always liked playing, like you said, like diplomacy and those kind of games. I always enjoyed playing those. So now I do wonder if there's nuance in the game to where you could kind of um, work your own agendas as these, as each of these positions. You know what um, I mean? I just, from what I understand, it's just about getting your house to the Iron Throne. I don't know okay. if if you're the heir, if you can backstab your lord, I have no idea. So that's what I was wondering, because, you know, like, you've got, um, like, on the show, you know, you have um, Tyrion, you know, where he's kind of worked his worked his own angles in different positions he's held, you know? Right, yeah. Sorry, spurlers for anyone who hasn't Spurler. watched the show, but... <clears throat> um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It was interesting enough that I definitely wanted to talk about it here because yeah, is you know. there like it, you have a link for it and stuff, right? Like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, are there pictures? Like, did they make pieces for it and stuff? Or it's hard to tell by the because I mean, there's a picture of a board and like poker chips and pieces on them, but I oh, okay. Without knowing the game, I don't know what they represent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I don't know if this is an actual board. I I, I have no idea. Right. I would assume it's a board. It says a portion of the gaming match map, which takes place in Westeros. No shit. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's like certain like there's mining icons. There's a like a portcullis, which I'm assuming is must be a castle or a you know uh, I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. There's like wheat symbols. There's like a cow symbol. There's trees. So I'm guessing it's a resource kind of situation too. Mm-hmm. That would make sense. I I really like the the game really does. Or the show, I should say, not the game. The show really um, lends itself to where you could combine ver- a variety of games. You know, a little Settlers, a little Diplomacy, a little, you know. Not that Settlers doesn't have its own Diplomacy, essentially, you know. Yeah, very true, right? You, you can kind of work, you know, like, hey, let's play nice together to shut this person down or whatever. So, you know. <clears throat> huh. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm going to have to go through and... Uh... That's pretty awesome. Definitely you gonna know, look at that. Go through the zip files once I, you know, once I get some a moment to do it. Yeah. Just out of curiosity, how the game works. Right. But I, yeah, I would love to get a, a massive group of people to go somewhere. Like, I don't know. I mean, I would say a bar, but good luck finding that many people and then keeping all our people not involved. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say w- what would be awesome is if you could have a place where you could kind of not rope off essentially, but rope off. You know. Like, to where like, people like could that stand big around. Side room at the Black Cloister. Yeah. Yeah. With that big, like, 
round table that were not yeah. round the big oval table to have. But he's still, I mean, that's thirty three people. But you could wander around the bar then and then regroup around the table yeah. when it's you know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, huh. <clears throat> that's really interesting. The only other thing would be really the 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 best thing they could do for this would be to well they can't they can and they can't is to make this if they can make this into a digital product like a, right. an online game because then it's much easier to get 33 people you know true but then it kind of takes away from the hey come over here let oh, me talk to no, you no i totally get it i mean yeah. i guess you could still do that on the side i'm sure you could you know there'd be a chat function or something you could kind of do it but it's still it doesn't feel the same as you know you feel like you're being sneaky when you're like hey let's uh, sidebar you know right <laughs> Well, because like it, uh, where was it? Um, says one of the coolest moments of the play test was uh, during the game. Someone comes in, starts talking about how they want to join the Night's Watch, and they all got up on stage. There were several of them, and they all did the O for the Night's Watch together. <laughs> <laughs> wow, There's some hardcore yeah. people, man! Some hardcore people. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I like it though. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I, I just love the fact that these guys came up with this and they're like, it, it was a fan created thing. Mm. Eh, let's just put it away. Let's put it out there for free. Yeah. I think that's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless uh, whoever owns the rights for that shuts it down. I would sure hope not, but I guess you never know. If so, it'd be easy enough to fix. You just change the names. Uh, yeah, for sure. You know, right. You just give things similar names, basically. Yeah. You know, yeah, the Twilight <laughs> Watch. Mm hmm. House Dragon. Mm-hmm. It basically, you just make it um, the store brand of what it is. <laughs> yeah, know? exactly. Yeah. Right. Crunchy peanut butter product. Yeah. Crunchy peanut butter product. <laughs> De- delicious. Delicious. Oh, man. Oh, well, cool. Oh, excuse me. I can't wait to dig into that a little bit. I'm going to take a look see at it as well. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, do you want to. Ready for the Q the W then, or do you have anything else? I guess I should say. Uh, that's all I got, man. All right, that's all I got, man. All right, man. Let's do this Q the W then. Last week, I asked people a question, but I don't remember what it was. <laughs> oh, it was if you could um, create a law that everyone had to listen to. What would the law be? Well, Brian, we uh. Pull my right tab here. I got too many, too much shit open. I so miss my little TV. I had. <laughs> right. <sighs> All right. On face page, Brian, we got Jeff from Hobie. He says, which we covered, don't be a dick. That's yeah. That's that's yeah. the ultimate law right there. I mean that. That is the ultimate law. It's the one the one I live by. Yep. Well, exactly. No. <laughs> and uh, the risk just says ditto. Yeah, I, which I can totally understand because it really is the, you know. Right. A um, strong one. Our pal Clint, he says, everyone would have to revere me as the supreme overlord of Earth. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Hanno, he says, no longer shall we greet each other, greet each other shaking disease breeding filthy hands. <laughs> Instead, a cup check or a boob grab shall be the method henceforth. Here to with. <laughs> I like it. And then Dev says, anytime I enter a room, someone has to give me a beer. I'm a big fan of that one, though. It's a good one, too. Can you imagine, though, you're like, hey, I'm going to head to the bathroom. You walk in the bathroom, someone has to hand you a beer. Like, oh, shit. No, that's the law. Wait here, sir. Right, yeah. Then you're on your way out. You know, you walk back into the main room. And they hand you another beer. It's, you know, you just got to be careful how many rooms you go into because you'd be like, oh, my God, I have like 17 beers. Right. Uh, and then, Brian, mm. I think this might be a new person answering uh, the old Q to W on face page. Your, your mom answered. Oh, yeah. She says to be kind to one another. Mm-hmm. Heart emoji. Right. <laughs> that's that's the best part. Yeah. That's the best part. It's Yeah, because she pretty much believes in the don't be a dick one, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, hers was the uh, clean way of don't be a dick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. 
you know, I was just thinking, I actually may have gotten an answer or so on face page myself. Oh, you don't say. I'm going to have to go look. But that's, that's all I got, man. Man. All right, man. Well, that's uh, pretty, pretty cool there. Um, all right. <clears throat> it's pretty cool, buddy. <laughs> Over on Instagram, um, Chicken Freckles says, Everyone has to read at least one book a year about a culture, race, country, region, industry, science, or religion that they know very little about. Then they have to write a report on it. That's fair. Yeah. I, I like the reading the book part about it. That's actually a really good exercise. Yeah, you know, definitely. To just, you know, read on things you don't know about. Because then, well, you know, I mean, especially if you end up arguing about something with somebody. It's like, well, if you know both sides, then you can at least maybe understand or whatever, you know. It, it definitely helps you get a better perspective on everything. Mm-hmm. Exactly. In my, in my humble opinion. Well, then, you know, if nothing else, I mean, it allows you to form your own opinion. You yeah, know? for sure. Like, you, you're not necessarily, you know, going with whatever the news tells you to <clears throat> to do or whatever. Um, you don't just blatantly listen to the news, Brian? <laughs> what? what? I hate listening to the news. I know, um, right? It's the worst. Dang it, I can't find it. I could have swore I had one over on Facebook, at least one. Uh, anyway, over on, um, um, <clears throat> excuse me, on Facebook, I had a couple others. Jeez, I keep hitting my dang mic. Knock it off, man. Cut it out, you. Ugh, I'm terrible. The worst. The uh, worst. Uh, yep, Twatty Bear says, don't be a dick. Cause, you say Twatty Bear? <laughs> yeah. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Um... Our pal S.I. Jesus, Prado God, says, I want to eat your hiney. I don't know if he understood the question, but we appreciate that he wants to uh, tuck into our, you know, I'm, supple buttocks. I mean, Prado, do not recommend. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, my. <clears throat> <clears throat> Jeez, I can't stop. Uh, I'm dying here. How about you? I'm dying here. Uh, hey, stop dying. Uh, yeah. Um. <clears throat> Jeez. Jesus, Brian. I thought I had another one on... guess not. I thought I had another one on Instagram, but I must not, because I don't see it. So, as a result, I'll uh, just move on. Um... Over on Twitter, I didn't have any that I could find. Um, right. Did you have any anywhere else? I did not. It's not very helpful, Tony. <laughs> okay, yeah, here we go. Know. I found I found what I was looking for. Um, <clears throat> Jesus, for Stewart, <laughs> dude! I can't stop. I'm just dying here. All right, here we go. So over on my Facebook, I you know asked people to answer the question. And uh, Brigger from uh, Hobie, uh, he, he killed me because he, he got it, which was, uh, says Brian would guest on Hobie. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Damn it. I can't resist the, the law. What am I going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, he also posted no political parties. Better yet, term limits of eight years for any elected official. Yeah, I can get behind that. Mm-hmm. Although I will say I'm okay with Mayor McCheese for life, but, you know. Right? Yeah. I think he was appointed for, as a for lifer. I don't think he has to run again. Life. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and then the last one I have is oh, via email from Cheeto Bandito. Ah, uh, Cheeto. Wait. No Fluffy Bunny Ash? No, she, had, she unfortunately had a, a rough week and... It, oh, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. So, internet hug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, so, Cheeto Bandito says, "What law would I pass that everyone would have to obey? Be most ex or be most excellent to each other, dudes. Makes sense." His <laughs> Bill. And, he says Bill and Ted reference. Anyone? Hello. Is this thing on? 
Nice. Yeah. Yeah, Cheeto, there's no no way that was not going to get picked up by by us and probably, you know, most people, I guess. I don't know. I would, yeah, for sure, right? Especially if they're old like us. Sorry, old like me, not like Tony. He's he's the youth of this Dude, podcast. I, I am the youth. Yep. You are the Steve Buscemi, you know, what is up, fellow youths or whatever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm I'm no longer pretending. <laughs> I'm I'm the old guy at the bar. Um and then he says, seriously though, I know you guys said it in the last episode, but just don't be an asshole. We said don't be a dick. Yeah. Jeez. You can be an asshole, that's fine. I guess. <laughs> it says get out of your own head and realize that together we are better than we ever would be separately. Also, if I could add a section A to this law, it would involve me getting my dick sucked whenever I wanted because I'm a <laughs> vulgar piece of shit. <laughs> Well, you know, for the low, low cost of like nine thousand dollars, <laughs> boy, do we have a solution for that's you? With the dick, you can switch in and out. <laughs> sure, I mean, you know, sometimes you're like, yeah, you know, a spicy you sauce know? sausage may be what you're looking for. Exactly, exactly. Well, yeah. Why limit yourself, especially with that low price? And of course, go with the bigger yeah. one. Yeah, why? I mean, why cheap? Why be a cheapskate? Right. It's the same price. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's that's all the entries for last week. Fair enough. I'm okay with this. These are good entries. I, I was waiting for you to play a drop there. <clears throat> oh, jeez, I'm sorry. <sighs> Come on, man. We both can't be dying on the show. Good job. Um, there we go. Boo ya. All right. And for this week's Q of the W, give me pick a number one through twenty three. God damn it, Brian. All you have to do is pick a number. Mm, eight. Eight? Okay. <clears throat> I like this one. Uh if you were allowed to get a tattoo at sixteen, what would you be stuck with today? Oh my god, it would be fucking terrible. <laughs> right? Mine honestly, mine would either be comic book related or Metallica probably. <laughs> like the Metallica, you know, like the M or something like that. Right? <laughs> 16. Hmm. Wow. It you know it would oh god. <laughs> It'd be so bad. You know it would be. Mm. It would be the uh, fatality font from Mortal Kombat because I was heavy <laughs> into Mortal Kombat too, right around then. <laughs> like across your knuckles. <laughs> yeah, like like uh, you know, like across my uh, like like a Tupac Thug Life was a fatality. <laughs> oh, that'd be great! You can have a little toasty dude jumping up like off to the side too. Oh, For man. sure, right? Right? If you're gonna do it, I mean, why not? No, I. I in all honesty, mine probably would have been um, some sort of uh, like comic book pinup on my arm. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it would have probably been something drawn by Jim Lee, or you know, I'm guessing, or, or Scott, J. Scott Campbell, or somebody like that. <clears throat> well, see, now that wouldn't be bad. Yeah, well, it depends on the character I pick. Well, that's true. Like, if you want sexy Catwoman, we're all making fun of you. <laughs> Depends on how sexy. Uh, That's true. We're all beaten off. That makes fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Unless the suck bot's around, then. Well, yeah. I mean. Oh, my God. Yeah, then the suck bot gets all of it. So we need to make a Roomba that's a suck bot. <laughs> that's a terrible idea. I love it. It just bounces off walls until it finds a dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you come home, it's just sucking on something on an end table or something. Like, what the? Like, God damn it, Suckbot. <laughs> you have one job. <laughs> Jesus, that's the ice maker. <laughs> now oh, I don't shit. have ice because you sucked it. <laughs> oh, Suckbot. Fucking Suckbot, suck you smack it. I'll they, tell you it what. It keeps working on Skynet code. Right? So, uh man. If if there was an animated version of our our podcast, Suckbot would be a recurring character from this point forward. True, uh, man. So, yeah, I, I, honestly, at like sixteen, I probably would have picked something from like I probably would have picked like um, Fairchild from Gen thirteen. Because you remember right. back then, I was all about like Gen thirteen, even though yeah, I do, I do recall, I yeah. do recall. I mean, it was you know, it wasn't because it was a great story. It was because I just liked the art at the time. 
Right. So, <clears throat> it would probably be that, or it, it'd have to be something like that, or it would be Spider-Man. Because those were the two. Oh, no, you know, damn it. I don't know. Anyway. The Max. The Max. I was just going to say the Max. I forgot about that till Anyway, but I, I'd go with the comic book pinup, because that's probably, because I've always wanted, like, from the first thought of ever getting a tattoo, I wanted a pinup on my arm. And you remember, I don't know if you remember that, uh, I had a Gen 13 shirt. Remember, I actually had to turn it inside out in commercial art the one day. Uh, well, oh, that's because Prudy McPrude face. Right. It's because her suit was pulled real low. And clearly oh you could. Oh, my God. This is a professional start- setting we're in. <laughs> Yet I have 40 toys on my table. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, you you definitely. I I think even now, if you had the fatality thing, I think it'd be better than mine because yeah. mine would probably be a character that would be like, oh man, why did I pick that character? Dude, my fatality thing would be so faded now. Perfect. It'd be all faded. People be like, oh, look at that guy. <laughs> but it'd be like it'd, it'd be like fatality. Bring another quarter or something stupid. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> you go get it covered up with a friendship one. <laughs> Friendship? Fatality. People are like, really? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I guess. Well, I got soft as I got old. I mean, I'm not about all the killing now. <laughs> That's what he wants on him, I guess. Can't we all just get along? All right. So there you go. The question again is, if you were allowed to get a tattoo at 16, what would you be stuck with today? Show me what you got. All right. So I guess with that, uh, you know, as usual, we'll ask you to head on over to SaltyLanguage.com. Um, if you haven't re- rated the show, reviewed the show, subscribed to the show, please, you know, if you could take your time out of your busy schedule to do so, we would greatly appreciate it. Um, you know, because just help us out, right? No, it helps us get... A help a brother out. It helps us in the mighty algorithms of whatever whatever app you're using <laughs> um yeah we're pretty much available on almost any social media and pretty much if you can find podcasts somewhere we're probably already there um you know so please share with your friends um like i said rate review and subscribe don't forget to you know leave us them five star ball washes ah oh, so much ball washing thank you suckbot <laughs> Oh my god, there we go. Our followers are suck bots. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed <Yep>. it. <laughs> Nailed it. There you go. Just like that. You uh, all became enthusiasts. Now, you know. Yep. Now you're suck bots. <laughs> now you're suck bots. <laughs> enthusiasts gives a, give us money. Suck bots just take for free. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Um, Good times. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, uh, other ways you can help the show would be to like, uh, retweet our episode tweets or share the Facebook things, share the, the question of the week, um, answer the Q of the W please. Um, you can suggest a Q of the W to us via Twitter or, um, email us. Like I mentioned earlier, same with, uh, joining dude mountain, um, you can email us at saltylanguage at gmail.com. You can reach us on Twitter at salty underscore language. You can find me on Twitter at Stunami. I am at Monotony. Or Salty underscore language on your Snapchat. I'm at Ninjutsu. And of course, we're on Instagram, mm-hmm. Face page, yeah. Gmail, MySpace, <laughs> Lifestar. Aim. <laughs> various bulletin boards <laughs> exactly uh yeah uh so yeah all our social media links are right there on our on the website it's the hub for everything salty or whatever i guess i don't know I, I, i'm fine with that okay well it's the hub for everything salty <laughs> yeah um so yeah we'd appreciate it if you know Go check those out. Uh, oh, also, past episodes are up on the, are available through the website as well. So, Goddamn right. Yeah, I guess uh, with that, I guess uh, have a beer, you'll be fine, bro.
it's been a good episode. And just remember, full service chimp, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm saying, stay, stay salty, full service champ. Don't let the man hold you down. That's right. That is right. Especially, you know, don't let him, uh, don't let him ruin your chimp shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>